Thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, do you know how many opportunities? For a simple example, Namad, even Tamil Nadu or other South Indian people, many people, generally if you are taking many people, they don't know how many opportunities are there for us. For example, India, every year, many exams are going to happen. So, we don't have any exam to apply. For example, AIMS, JIPMER, Railway, ESI, NIMANS, ISRO, Sishitra, Central Institute of Psychiatry, and Central Government Hospital, like Sabdar Jeng, RML, Lady Kalavadi, VMC, and DSSB, Tata Memorial Hospital, Autonomic Energy, Kalpakam, and we have HGBJ, PGMAR, and Institute of Liver and Biliary Science, uh, New Delhi, and IIT, all IITs, including Madras, including the Madras IIT, and Central Government Institute, like Industrial, CPCL, and CMFL, and including MRB. Our Tamil Nadu people will be the first to see MRB. That's the first. If you are asking anybody, when will be next to MRB? But they are not seeing so many opportunities around us. We have a lot of wipes. But we are not able to do that. That's why we are not aware of it. When we are studying in college, we are not getting proper awareness. If you are getting our any state or anybody, I am not telling particular people, anybody, if you have good awareness, if you have good hard work and if you have good in track you will you can clear any type of exams so yeah nama central government exam eludanum then abo institution nare institutions sonna yeah exam eludanum first job security ungalku 60 years vari compulsory job irukku private mari vande burden no work burden no nariya prachana irukku private la salary increment ellathilume ana government la apply kediya job security compulsory irukum adhe mari financial benefits நல்ல சேலரி இருக்கும் எயிட்டி டு நைன்டி கே சேலரி கண்டிப்பா உங்களுக்கு சென்ட்ரல் கவர்மெண்ட் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன்ல சேலரி தராங்க லீவ் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் அதே மாதிரி சிஎல் இஎல் எம்எல் அண்ட் ஈவன் த கேஷுவல் லீவ் எல்லா லீவும் கம்பல்சரி உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் மெடிக்கல் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் மெடிக்கல் இன்சூரன்ஸ் நிறைய இருக்கு திஸ் ஆர் த பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் இன் சென்ட்ரல் கவர்மெண்ட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ்ல நிறைய பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் இருக்கு இது மாதிரி ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் சக்ஸஸ் ஆர் ஃபெயிலியர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சக்ஸஸ் பண்ணணும்னா உங்களோட முயற்சி own imitation own own initiation is very very important for our success so if you want to do anything hard work keep on yourself only or not a motivation and i want to get government job so keep yourself same thing you move forward surely you will get one day you get get success now if currently in exam apply panirkanga nars go in trick application point trick vandu pathina nars preparation nars ஃபைவ் ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் அதை பற்றி தான் நம்ம இப்போ பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஃபஸ்ட்டு நிறைய பேருக்கு நார்த் செட் பற்றி இன்னும் நிறைய பேர் அப்ளையே பண்ணாமல் இருக்காங்க ஸோ மெனி பீப்புள் நாட் எட் அப்ளைடு ஸோ யூ ஷுட் கெட் அவர் ஃபஸ்ட் அப்பியர் த எக்ஸாம் இஃப் யூஆர் அப்பியரிங் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் தேர்ட்டி பர்சன்ட் யூ வில் கெட் சக்ஸஸ் பிகாஸ் அப்பியர் ஆனால் தான் அங்கே எப்படியெல்லாம் எக்ஸாம் கேட்குறாங்க என்ன டைப் ஆஃப் கொஷின் கேட்குறாங்க எப்படி நம்ம அதை டேக்கிள் பண்ணலாம் ஹவு வி கேன் டேக்கிள் தட் கொஷின்ஸ் அப்படின்னு உங்களுக்கு ஒரு அவேர்னஸ் கிடைக்கும் தென் ஃபஸ்ட் அப்ளிகேஷனில் என்ன குவாலிஃபிகேஷன் கண்டிப்பாக தெரியும் நமக்கு Suppose AIMS, if you are applying, Central Government Hospital, means AIMS, irikku, Central Government Hospital irikku, and Tuberculosis Center. This is the one exam that is conducted, one institution, AIMS Delhi is conducted. First, AIMS Delhi is more than 18 AIMS recruitment. First, BS Nursing, Fresher, and you can apply with registration. And professional order, you can apply. Then, Diploma with 2 years experience. They, நம்மளோட மெயின் வந்து அன்ரிசர்வ் கேண்டிடேட் வந்து தேர்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் வரை அப்ளை பண்ணலாம் அதே ஓபிசி கேண்டிடேட்னா தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ யுவர் எக்ஸாம் ஃபீஸ் வில் பி த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் அண்ட் எஸ்டி கேண்டிடேட் அண்ட் எக்கனாமிக் வீக்கர் சென்னா தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் எக்ஸ் இந்த எக்ஸாம் டூ செக்ஷனாக நடக்க போகுது இதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஒரே செக்ஷன் நடந்தது டூ ஸ்டேஜஸாக நடக்க போகுது இப்போ பிலிம்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் அண்ட் மெயின்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் பிலிம்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் கோயிங் டு ஆப்பன் செவன்டீன் செப்டம்பர் அண்ட் மெயின்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் வில் பி செவன்த் அக்டோபர் இதோட டீட்டெயில்ஸை நம்ம நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லைட்ல பார்க்கலாம் நெக்ஸ்ட் கமிங் ஸ்லைட்ல ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் நேஷனல் டியூபர் குளோசிஸ் இந்த ஹாஸ்பிட்டலுக்கு ஒரு அட்வான்டேஜஸ் இருக்கு என்ன அட்வான்டேஜ் வாட் அட்வான்டேஜ் பி ஹவ் டிப்ளமோ நர்சஸ் தே டோன்ட் வாண்ட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் வித்வுட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆல்சோ டிப்ளமோ நர்சஸ் கேன் அப்ளை ஃபார் திஸ் எக்ஸாம் அண்ட் யுவர் ஏஜ் எலிஜிபிலிட்டி ஆல்சோ இன்க்ரீஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எயிட்டீன் டு தேர்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் தான் ஜென்ரல் கேட்டகரி எய்ம்ஸ் பீப்புளுக்கு ஆனால் இதே நீ நேஷனல் டியூபர் குளோசிஸ் சென்டருக்கு வந்து ஜென்ரல் கேட்டகரிக்கு எயிட்டீன் டு தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஃப்ரம் தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டு 
த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் அகெய்ன் யூனோ ரிலாக்ஸேஷன் அப்படின்னா ஜென்ரல் கேட்டகரி நேஷனல் டியூபர் குளோசிஸ்க்கு நம்ம தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் வரை எழுதலாம் அதே மாதிரி பிளஸ் ஓபிசி கேட்டகரி தேர்ட்டி எயிட் பிளஸ் எக்கனாமிக் மீன்ஸ் எஸ்சி எஸ்டி கேண்டிடேட்டுக்கு ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் அகெய்ன் பிளஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி டூ வரை எழுதலாம் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் சேம் ரூல்ஸ் தான் ஆனால் இதில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இது வந்து பியூர் சென்ட்ரல் கவர்மெண்ட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் லைக் சப்தர்ஜங் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் விஎம்சி ஆரம்மல் லேடி கயா கலாவதி இது எல்லாத்துக்குமே வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சேம் ப்ரீவியஸ் எய்ம்ஸோட ப்ரொசீஜர் தான் பட் ஆனால் ஏஜ் ரிலாக்ஸேஷன் அதிகமாக இருக்கும் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இங்கே டிப்ளோ பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் ப்ரெஷர் எழுதலாம் டிப்ளமோ நர்சிங் வித் டூ இயர்ஸ் கம்பல்சரி எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் நீடட் அண்ட் வி நீட் ஏஜ் எலிஜிபிலிட்டிஸ் எயிட்டீன் டு தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் வரையும் ஜென்ரல் கேட்டகரி எழுதலாம் தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டு தேர்ட்டி எயிட் வி கேன் அப்ளை ஓபிசி கேண்டிடேட் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி எயிட் அப் அப் டு ஃபார்ட்டி டூ எஸ்சி எஸ்டி கேண்டிடேட் தென் கேன் அப்ளை ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இதுதான் வந்து பேசிக் இப்போ எக்ஸாம் அப்ளை பண்ணுறது ஆன்லைன் ரெஜிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபிஃப்த் எயிட்டோட ஸ்டாப் ஆக போகுது ஸோ இஃப் எனிபடி நாட் அப்ளை ஜஸ்ட் கோ அண்ட் அப்ளை யுவர் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் யூ அப்ளை If you are applying and writing, already I told you, no, 30% you got success. So first, your friends, your seniors, junior, anybody, just to inform them, apply and write. Apply and write, you have an idea. So online application started 5th, I mean, and 25th, this month, 25th, 8th, means 8th, 25th, in the month of 8th, 25th, we have date. Then Windows correction. If you have done any mistake, the correction will be open 26th to 28th. ஆனால் இன்னொன்று சொல்கிறேன் உங்களோட கேஸ்ட்டு உங்களோட நேம் ஃபாதர் நேம் அண்ட் யுவர் மதர் நேம் இது எல்லாமே உங்களால் எடிட் பண்ண முடியாது ஸோ பி கேர்ஃபுல் பி கான்ஷியஸ் வைல் அப்ளைங் த அப்ளிகேஷன் பிகாஸ் ஒர் நேம் யுவர் ஃபாதர் நேம் யுவர் மதர் நேம் யுவர் கேஸ்ட் அண்ட் யுவர் டேட் ஆஃப் பர்த் யூ கான் சேஞ்ச் ஒன்ஸ் ரெஜிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் டன் மீன்ஸ் அகெயின் திருப்பி நீங்கள் அப்ளை பண்ணோம்னா புது இமெயில் ஐடி வேணும் புது மொபைல் இது மொபைல் நம்பர் வேணும் பேமெண்ட்டு புதுசாக பண்ணணும் அதனால் பி கேர்ஃபுல் வைல் அப்ளை ஒரு ஒரு அப்ளிகேஷன் ஒரு ஒரு ஸ்டேஜ் போகும்போதும் ரீட் அட்லீஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் டைம்ஸ் ஒரு அஞ்சு டைம் ரீட் பண்ணிவிட்டு கரெக்டாக எல்லாமே என்டர் பண்ணியிருக்குமா எவ்ரி திங் என்டர்டு கரெக்ட்லி அப்படின்னு செக் பண்ணிவிட்டு தென் யூ சப்மிட் இட் அதே மாதிரி தென் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் வந்து ஆல் ஓவர் தி இந்தியா நடக்க போகுது ஈவன் இன்க்ளூடிங் சென்னை சேலம் கோயம்புத்தூர் மதுரை அண்ட் பாண்டிச்சேரி and we have vellur so many centers is there so try to apply don't be delayed and stage 2 sonnalla or stage 1 stage 2 stage 1 und sabtai september agapodu that means exam going to be conducted and stage 2 und pathina 70 7th october will be there so be careful be conscious and apply fast your posting that means for application first now we are going for prelim exam eppadi exam irukku na two stages sonnalla i have told two stages of exam will be there or stage one is prelims exam so prelims exam la exam will be going to held 17th september totally we have 100 questions 90 minutes time one by third negating will be there so here this exam will be only qualifying exam ana this qualifying exam also you should be very very careful ninga romba careful ah irukkanum ena one is to five candidate dhaan edupanga next stage ku for example obc la ஒரு தௌசண்ட் வேக்கன்சி வருதுன்னா தே வில் டேக் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா ஃபைவ் இட் மீன்ஸ் ஒன் தௌசண்ட் இன்ட்டு ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் கேண்டிடேட் எடுப்பாங்க அது மாதிரி ஸோ மேக்ஸிமம் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் கேண்டிடேட் தே வான் மீன்ஸ் தே வில் டேக் அரௌண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் எடுப்பாங்க ஸோ ஒன் இஸ் டு ஃபைவ் ரேஷியோ அதே மாதிரி நெகட்டிவ் மார்க் இதுலேயும் ஒன் இஸ் டு த்ரீ இருக்குது மெயின்ஸ்லேயும் ஒன் இஸ் டு த்ரீ எக்ஸாம் நெகட்டிவ் மார்க் வில் பி தேர் ஸோ மெனி பீப்புள் சிட்டிங் அவுட் சைட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் நெகட்டிவ் மார்க் many people many people they are not getting job means because of negative mark 130 questions eludhanavum kuda top rank la irupanga ana 180 question eduthavanga more than 4000 5000 rank la irupanga ivungalukku avanga difference enna na this person also know 100 question correct that person also know 100 question correct but he is not attended negative questions he attended only whatever he know he removed he neglected negative question he is in position who are attending negative question they are sitting outside so be conscious be careful very 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 careful so negative mark la romba careful careful ah irukanum mains exam exam going to be happen eppa nadakka podunna 7th october totally idhula unnu point marandutten sorry exam idhula vandu paathina 80 questions nursing subject 20 questions vandu non nursing subject preliminary exam la so be careful ப்ரிலிமினரி எக்ஸாம்பில் ரெண்டு கேட்பாங்க டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட்டி மார்க்ஸ் வந்து நர்சிங்கு டுவெண்ட்டி மார்க்ஸ் வந்து 
நான் நர்சிங் சப்ஜெக்ட் ஸோ இயர் நீங்கள் எல்லாருமே ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் குவாலிட்டி ஃபைவ் மார்க்கிங் வச்சாங்கன்னா அந்த மார்க் எடுத்தால் போதும் நினைக்காதீங்க யூ ஷுட் கெட் குட் மார்க் தென் ஒன் வில் பி குவாலிஃபைட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டேஜ் ஸோ பி கேர்ஃபுல் அண்ட் புட் யுவர் ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் தென் மெயின்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் கோயிங் டு ஆப்பன் செவன்த் அக்டோபர் அண்ட் ஹண்ட்ரட் மார்க் ஹண்ட்ரட் எம்சிக்யூஸ் வித் நைன்டி மினிட்ஸ் டைம் இயர் ஆல்சோ ஒன் பை தேர்ட் நெகட்டிவ் மார்க்கிங்ஸ் வில் பி தேர் இங்கேயும் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ த்ரீ நெகட்டிவ் மார்க்கிங் இருக்கு ஹண்ட்ரட் கொஷின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் நர்சிங் நர்சிங் சப்ஜெக்டில் ஹண்ட்ரட் கொஷின்ஸ் கேட்பாங்க எனி டைப் ஆஃப் கொஷின் சினாரியோ பேஸ்ட் கொஷின் ஓப்பன் ஹண்ட்ரட் கொஷின் ஈவன் இமேஜ் பேஸ்ட் கொஷின் அண்ட் கிளினிக்கல் ஓரியன்டட் கொஷின் ப்ராப்ளம் சால்விங் கொஷின் எனி டைப் ஆஃப் கொஷின் கேட்கலாம் அவங்க ஆனால் ஹண்ட்ரட் கொஷின்ஸ் இது திஸ் வில் டிசைட் யுவர் ரேங்க் அண்ட் கட் ஆஃப் பி கேர்ஃபுல் In the second exam, it will cut off, means it will decide your cut off. In the rank base, you will have a seat to confirm. Agum. So be careful, avoid negative marking. What I'm saying is that more candidates, more candidates sitting outside because of negative marking. Avoid your negative. Then, me, if you want to go up, we need some support. If you have a first standard, if you are completed first standard to 12th standard, we have some book. Yes or no? Without any support, we can't. We can't climb up. We can't reach our goal. So, we need some support. We need some guidance. We need everything. So, what, for that, what I am telling, what I am telling is that you can follow the book, you can study the class, that means continuous revision and hard work. Continuous knowledge is very, very important. So, now, how to prepare your exam? How do we prepare our exam? First, be relaxed. நிறைய பேர் சொல்றாங்க ஐ கான்ட் கிராக் எக்ஸாம் எனக்கு இப்போ தெரியாது நர்சிங் வந்து நான் வந்து ஃபர்ஸ்ட்ல இருந்து படிக்கல அப்படி வித் இன் டுவெண்ட்டி டேஸ் தேர்ட்டி டேஸ் படிச்சு கூட தே கேன் கிராக் த எக்ஸாம் பிகாஸ் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் வந்து டோட்டலி ஹண்ட்ரட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் தான் ஹண்ட்ரட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் தேர் நாட் டேக்கிங் ஆல் ஹோல் த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் தௌசண்ட் பேஜஸ் புக்ல இருந்து அவங்க ஹண்ட்ரட் ஃபோர் தௌசண்ட் பேஜ் டோட்டலா வந்து கொடுக்க முடியாது அவங்களால ஸோ மெயினா இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் வாட் கரண்ட் சுச்சுவேஷன் வாட் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இந்த சொசைட்டி அதை சால்வ் பண்ணுற மாதிரி தான் அவங்க நம்ம நர்சிங் சப்ஜெக்டில் இருந்தால் கொஷின் கேட்பாங்க ஸோ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூஆர் டேக்கிங் நியூரோ ஷோர்லி ஒன் நியூரோலஜி கொஷின் லைக் ஸ்ட்ரோக்லேருந்து ஒரு குலியன் பேரியர் சின்ரோம் ஒரு மெனிஞ்சைட்டிஸ்லேருந்து ஒரு ஸ்பைனல் கார்டு இருந்து இதில் தான் மெயின் டாபிக் ஸோ இந்த டாப்பிக்கு நம்ம அனலைஸ் பண்ணி படித்தோம்னா ஷோரோ வில் கெட் குட் ரேங்க் கெட் பேசிக் நாலேஜ் ஆல்வேஸ் யூ ஷுட் ரீட் ரீ ஃபிசியாலஜி physiology basic nalla irundhuchuna endha mari questions you can crack it because physiology vachu you can remove the wrong answers so that's very very important and be have a patience and increase your time of studying ipo namakku we have more than not means we don't have more than 30 days namakku or 30 naal da time irukum indha 30 naal la you have to read basic knowledge and you have to read questions and you have to revise and you have to go for exam increase your timing at least in the 30 days 10 to 12 hours ninga padikkanum prepare mains and prelims together ore mari prepare pannittu ponga don't prepare like this is for mains this is for uh, prelims like that you know prelims le only we have 20 marks non nursing subject remaining all same avoid negative marking give more important to important topic and practice more question this last 30 days boost your confidence boost your knowledge and bo- it will reduce your fear means mainly one of the fear reduce pannu ungala know, knowledge improve pannu na neriya questions solve pannu practice your question continuously daily practice pannunga if you are practicing question surely you will get good knowledge and you can crack the exam very easily then be in the track ore mari ponu because indha mari indha or indha mari or pakkam polam indha indha book or nalai polam ore mari ponu so study with your friends so because always yeah study with friends na you can come, you can share your knowledge ninga padikiradha avangalukku solli tharalam avanga padikiradha neenga padikalam adhe mari separate individual study also for everyone and even you can study individually also but study with friends you can reduce your wasting time it will reduce your wasting for example ninga rendu per onna padichittingna avanga padikkum bodhu ninga vera social media avule adukku ninga povum maatinga so we have to study like that you will think then de- daily test during knowledge for example this 30 days every day or test attend pannu test attend pandrona day and the test le you have to re- avoid negative marking blindly should not take all the questions if you are taking all the questions then 
you will get again same knowledge and same thinking in the exam hall also so don't think that always what i am telling is always practice with negative marking spend 80% questions practice if in the situation 80% you practice question then 20% theory will be you can mean theory you can cover it then evaluate yourself end that will weak arkona end the subject weak arkona evaluate panum and analyze your strength and weakness time and preparation is very very important avoid social media already so little nariye per vandu in the time or reels paakrathu and the time whatsapp la poi paakrathu in the time facebook la poi paakrathu everywhere watching the video and wasting the time at the last moment we are blaming ourselves i can't able to crack the exam who are getting success that one month also no problem even three months also preparing no problem you should avoid your social media activities at least one or two months then main i post small uh, small tricks first my first tricks is never choose the answer leave the patient for example if answer stemble now all answer irukum adala vandu or answer vandu never it means always you leave your patient abadina epime any time you should not leave the patient adha mari or answer varadu that answer will not come so leave the patient abadina or answer vanda you can you can don't choose that answer leave the patient don't do nothing if for example one answer is telling don't do the patient don't do nothing abadina or answer e varadu we have to do something to the patient because patient having illness so don't do na if you having any problem we are going hospital simply the doctors and nursing or nurses are watching you whether you will accept it no you will not accept so same adhe mari da answer le don't do anything abadina and mari or answer varadu so don't select that answer don't read into the question always main the specific points never assume anything not specifically mentioned for example you read that answer whether this physiology is accepted for this question or not for example if you having patient having barotrauma whether this physiology is accepted for barotrauma or not think that so think and, and answer it don't pass box never choose the answer brainly means never choose the answer like if i i am not done i can't do anything na and the and the care kudukka maten indha care kudukka koodadu abdin or answer vanduchina adha mari that answer you don't choose it because andha mari or answer varadu then if you see option like i heard it don't choose it abdina for example maybe i can abdin varadu or answer because we are professionals we know what should do what should not do nam edha pannano edha panna kodadu namak theriyano so andha edathula poi or answer varudhu maybe you can give abdina maybe indra or answer varadu you whether you have to do or we should not do it whether this it will harm the patient or it will not harm the patient adha mari you have to think and answer it then when choose the when you are choosing the patient always choose the patient unstable for example whether patient is stable or unstable you choose that when patient having stable the treatment also according to the stable condition when the patient is unstable the answer also will be there in critical answer whether the patient the patient will be there unstable condition you have to go for immediate treatment so when patients unstable na unstable condition patient treatment mari you have to select it if patient having stable condition you have to select like stable then again last another one is un- unlimited stops like we have um, patients having unlimited stop and we have equipment resources for example in the hospital you patient don't have equipment and we don't have staffs because of the we can't give treatment abdin or answer varakudad because it should not be like that we have to give proper care to the patient with le- proper staff because if you are answer like that you don't choose it and restraint is always last when you think that any patients having restraint first think all the answers if you are can't able to give the three treatment three answers and last option will be only restraint then always least invasive least invasive means what first you have to give important airway breathing circulation and disability and exposure you give the first important vital organ measurements don't choose leave last for example uh, least answer means which is you should not give important for first least means you have to give importance last and the answer on last ta kudukum this is the least response nariya answers questions apdi da varum which of the following is not except which of the following is least 
which of the following is not accept so adala three correct answer irukum or negative or wrong answer irukku and the wrong answer da nam select panna solranga so always we will get confusion in that only nam enna panuvona first three correct answer undane nam eyes direct anga da pogu and answer question full ah padichirukka matom we are not read that question properly directly and the correct answer da poi click pannuvom appo enna panuvom he ask which one is wrong நம்ம கேட்டது அந்த ராங் ஆன்சரை கலெக்ட் பண்ண சொல்லியிருக்காங்க நம்ம டேரக்டா அந்த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சரை போய் செலக்ட் பண்ணுவோம் ஏன்னா கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வி ஆர் நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ப்ராப்பர்லி தட் ஆல்சோ வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் தென் லாஸ்ட் சூஸ் த ஆன்சர் டிலே ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் பிகாஸ் வி ஷுட் கிவ் அப்ராப்ரியேட் டைம் வி ஷுட் கிவ் த ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் அசஸ் த பேஷன்ட் பிஃபோர் இம்ப்ளிமெண்டிங் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூ ஆர் எதர் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் அசஸ்மெண்ட் யூ கோ ஃபார் அசஸ்மெண்ட் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் means assessment if for example physical examination assessment means what we have inspection palpation percussion auscultation and we have assessment diagnostic measures assessment related questions always when you are going any treatment first you assess then give treatment after giving treatment you will not assess first assess treatment then you will again assess effectiveness of the treatment so when you are assessing when you are choosing the answer same like first whether the assessment is done or not you see that where then you go for implementing the treatment then we have encountering the question unfamiliar questions like unlike maybe could not whether this uh, unreality words you should not use it then severe or acute for example or condition one condition says patient having acute condition then answer will be their severe condition so there is a answer for severe condition so you remove that answer then you go for acute condition if patients are having severe condition you go for selecting only severe condition there they are given acute condition three answers but your question is severe condition so always what they need what question is there just read the question properly or question at least two times read pannu adala whether it's negative or positive whether it's assessment or whether it's implementation intervention whether it's a negative question or whether positive question you have to think and answer it then if questions are having endorsement either new or next step for example or uh, treatment new or enala kudukka mudiyadhu this treatment is very new i will not give like that there is no answer will be there then last very 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 important golden point but everyone you will not accept reason if you don't know think physiology you can't get answer leave that question 100% i am telling first read two times and think physiology and all negative aspect you think and if you can't able to get answer leave that question always think and answer it this all the vain important golden points from me and my small advice ungalku neriya peru solradha very small advice always there is no magic endha question crack pandra ungaldum there is no magic magic alla onnume illa under percentage they are hard work if you want to crack the exam just put your hard work one month two months three months then i you will be up to 60 years will be very happy will be very happy ning romba sandoshama irupinge ena government job da venu abindravanga surely you will get at least three months continuous hard work this one month also enough to crack the exam but all with your hard work in hard work da at least 10 to 12 hours practice your question read basic knowledge read basic knowledge small quotes the mind sense are na solirkar doing same thing expecting different result in different crazy graces for example einstein vandu pathina and the or avaru kandupidikiradhukku munadi almost more than 1000 more than more than 10000 15000 times avaru try pannirpar avaru try panni try panni try panni repeated repeated repeatedly they try once he found so same like things if you want to crack the exam attend the exam repeatedly solve your strength means you are improve your strength and weakness then try your again next level improve 10 10 percentage improve 10 10 percentage at last end you will get success that all depends on your hard work and commitments so our aim is also teaching and guiding until your success now main motive naanga start pannade in the institution vandu pathinga நம்ம ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் எனி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் தேர் இஸ் நோ வேரியேஷன் டு எனிபடி எவ்ரி ஒன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் எவ்ரி ஒன் நர்சஸ் வி நீட் டு கெட் அன்டில் சக்ஸஸ் நாம் எங்கிட்ட ஒரு ஸ்டூடெண்ட் வந்தால் 
will give hundred percentage our hard work and will motivate you to hundred percentage and will make you to get success. Surely, Inglala enna mudi mo adhe mari we will motivate you to get success. This is one of the the there is a marathon. Same thing requires steady determination and focus your perseverance. Surely, you need this and look your clear path which you, you want to go one way. Don't think whether you lie right side and left side. See and go same. For example, if you want to get central government job, see in front of you one of the central government job, fix it with stick and you go behind, means go forward. You will get one day that stick will be with you. Sure, I'm told, I'm going to go to the hospital and the hospital is going to go to the hospital. And the mind and the hospital is going to move on. Surely one day you will get success. That's why I'm going to go when you are our signatures changes autograph marks that success any type ninga or ungalku success varanum na ungala hard work very very important and thank you so much for listening this my session will be there after first session because my will be the second session now another sir is going to start class now this is a small and small and brief and very quiet and information from us so kindly support our team and support our institution. Shora, Nanga Ungula or success on a pathway to Kundupogo. Thank you so much for listening my words still now. Thank you. So, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, you can start the class. I will. Uh... Okay, you stop the sharing. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, I am audible. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Your voice is audible. Okay, thank you. So, good evening to one and all. At the outset, I would like to Welcome you all for this demo class conducted by Wings of Fire Nursing Academy. It was a small initiative from Wings of Nursing Fire Academy by Mr. Thiru and Mr. Sanjay. So I welcome you all for this demo class. And I thank Mr. Sanjay and uh, Mr. Tirupati for giving this opportunity. So I thank you all for joining us. <laughs> so before going into the session, yeah. let me know from we, we, uh, where you are attending this demo class. So type of city in your chat box. I was expecting more from type of city in the chat box. Okay. Thank you. So, so there is a famous saying that to succeed today, you have to set priorities. Decide what you stand for. <clears throat> so, priority decides what you want to be. So, <clears throat> you are special than others because this demo link has been shared to many of them. But the 145 participants only uh, joined this. So, you have just taken a first step to to your career. So I welcome you all and I thank you for thank you for joining us. So so first you have to set priorities. So so your priority should be cracking the central government competitive exam. So just to set that was your topmost priority. Okay. So when <clears throat> for example, so most of them are working in the private hospital or in the government hospital. Uh, so may, many of them give excuses that I have no time to uh, study or I have so many other works uh, like that. So, um, so you should not give excuses. So you should 
uh, set to a top priority for this cracking the uh, competitive examination. So when you set this as a top priority, so you can real, um, really succeed in this uh, examination. So no one is always busy. It is just depends on what number you are on their priority list. So we will we will always say I am too busy. Uh, uh, actually, we are all uh, all of us having twenty four hours. So uh, somebody is uh, cracking the examination, and we are not able to crack the examination. That's why because they have set that pr their priority. Uh, this as a priority. So we are not setting this as a practice. This is a So we should uh, practice this as a number one. Yes, this is the great man, Dr. Abdul uh, APJ Abdul Kalam. So he was uh, one who inspired us to start this Wings of Fire Nursing Academy. So he says that dream, 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 dreams transform into thoughts and thought results in the action. Yes, so if we dream, it will transform into thoughts and uh, in that thought results in the action, isn't it? So so everyone will be having their own experience. So I am also having the same experience. So while I'm trying, while I'm preparing for a postgrad PJM at Chandigarh, uh, I even did not get sleep. Suddenly in the midnight, I will get up uh, and read the book, new books. Because that dreams transform into a thought and that thought results in the action. But the result was positive. Okay. Yes. So she, uh, he also described what is dream. So dream is not which while you see while sleeping, it is something that does not let you sleep. So in Tamil, Ningal Tungumbodu Varuva the Kanavala, Ungalai Tunga Vadamal Sevadan Kanavu. Okay. So, if you have a PJ preparation, you can't do it. So, you can't do it. PJ is a jeep. So, just dream. So, dream means you can't do it. You can't do it. Okay. So, so, this is a light, uh, just and motivation. So, in Wings of, nursing, Wings of Fire Nursing Academy, so the faculties are uh, trying to. Uh, motivate panni in the or short period la Unglela on the or uh, mains exam Unglela, Kundu Porada, Ingloda, Yema, Yerko. So other Kaza Nanga, we are trying to spend this much of time and uh, this much of effort. So, so Unglali Mudio, Enala Mudim, but why can't you? Okay, so on the mother, Matongla Mudim, but yeah, Enala Mudiadi. So that's all. So, so in this session, I am going to discuss about basis of electrocardiograph. So actually ECG is a very vast topic. We can't be able to cover in um, 45 to 1 hour. So just I am trying to explain what are the basics of electrocardiograph. So most of us are daily taking ECGs and uh, interpreting, but is um, most of us do not know what are the basis of electrocardiogram. Even I too don't know what are the basics of uh, electrocardiogram and I too taking ECG in the daily in the uh, emergency department. But uh, it is a very important topic to study. <clears throat> okay. So, one minute. Okay. So I think you are all well versed about the anatomy and physiology of a heart. So I am not going deep into that system. So I am just uh, describing what is conduction system of heart. Okay. <clears throat> so which is pertaining to the this topic, uh, basis of electrocardiogram. So every muscle has an electrical activity. For example, if a skeletal muscle also emit a small amount of electrical activity while contact. Similarly, the cardiac uh, heart is also made up of a muscle called as myocardium. It will also emit some um, amount of electricity, which was uh, uh, detected by the electrodes. And we will see that uh, uh, picture in the ECG paper. 
with the use of a galvanometer. I think you are all uh, very familiar with the galvanometer in the school studies. So it will deflate. It's like an, uh, a string which will move based on the electricity which is uh, received. So it is the basic principles of the ECG. So um, the electrical activity starts in the sinoatrial node, which is situated in the uh, upper, upper area of the uh, right atrium, where the superior vena cava joins the right atrium. So from there, the electrical activity is transferred to the atrioventricular node. And from there, it is uh, transferred to bundle of his. And as soon as it is uh, divided, then it is divided into left and right bundle branch and then into parking the system. Okay. So there is an another uh, bundle called Batchman's bundle. So Batchman's bundle. So um, this Batchman bundle uh, is also known as intraatrial bundle. Intraatrial bundle. So the electrical activity which is getting started in the sinoatrial uh, node is transferred to the left atrium through the Batchman's bundle. So it is also known as intraatrial bundle because it is situated between the uh, between the right atrium and the left atrium. So it is called as intraatrial bundle. It is all made up of a muscular bundle comprising of myocardial strands. So it is made up of that Batchman's bundle is made up of myocardial strands that connecting right and left atrial valves. Okay. So if there is a disruption in this uh, structure, it may cause us intraatrial conduction blur, which is called as IAB. IAB, intraatrial interatrial conduction block. So we are not familiar with these uh, terms. So that is Batchman's bundle. Okay. So are you clear with this? So the electrical activity starts from the sinoatrial node. Uh, averagely, it will uh, stimulate within 60 to 100 beats per minute. So the in the uh, SA node, the, the electrical activity generates 60 to 100 times per minute. Okay, so it is slowly traveled to the AV node. So AV node is also known as gateway. So it slows down the electrical activity which is received from the sinoatrial node. Okay, <clears throat> so it will slow down the activities. So it will, uh, so even the SA node can't be able to generate uh, electric, uh, electrical impulse. AV node can itself generate electrical activity at a rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. 40 to 60 beats per, per minute. And then it is transferred to a bundle of keys and the right and left bundle branch and then the parking the system. Okay, so this is a brief under, uh, <coughs> uh, physiology, anatomy physiology about the conduction system of the heart. So this is the electrical activity of the heart. <coughs> so first we have to see about the sinoatrial node. So it is also known as natural pacemaker of the heart. Okay. So it is situated in the right atrium. So it is like situated in the junction of the crista terminalis. Crista terminalis. C R I S T A. Crista terminalis. Terminalis. So it is located at the junction of crista terminalis in the upper wall of the right atrium and the opening of the superior vena cava. So it is situated in the opening where the superior vena cava opens into the right atrium. So that junction is called as crista terminalis. So this uh, the elect it initiates the heartbeat spontaneously generating electrical impulse at the rate of 62. As I already told, it will generate electrical impulse at the rate of 62 100 impulses per minute. So the electrical impulse then is then transmitted through the pre-nodal cells and or transitional cells. So it is uh, transmitted to the pre-nodal cells or transitional cells and it reaches the indra uh, AV node. Okay. So, and next one is AV node, atrioventricular node. So, it is uh, located between the atria and the ventricle. So, okay, it is, uh, it acts as a gatekeeper. So, it will delay the impulses then uh, conducted by the SA node. Okay. So, that, uh, that's why it is called as gatekeeper. Okay. So, it can also generate electrical impulse at the rate of 40 to 60 per minute. <clears throat> okay. So, this AV node is located in the coach triangle, K-O-C-H. 
KOCH, coach triangle. So there is an area called coach triangle. So where the coronary, coronary sinus, uh, near the coronary on, uh, sinus on the inter arterial sub, inter arterial septum. So inter arterial septum, pakatla, coronary sinus, and pakatla, this coach uh, triangle. Irke. So and then it is not this AV node. They are uh, specialized uh, cells made for generating the electrical impulses. Okay. So next one is <coughs> bundle of kiss. Um, so in 1983, Wilhelm Kiss. Uh, so only it is called as bundle of his Wilhelm his W I L H E L Wilhelm his. So it is made up of a, a special type of cells called as Purkinje cells. Purkinje type cells. This is a bundle of randomly. Um, this is a bundle of his are composed of randomly oriented microfibrils. Uh, okay. So this is made up of microfibrils. This is Purkinje. Type cells in the bundle of his are made up of myofibril type of cells. Okay. <coughs> so next one is uh, next one is bundle branch. So the bundle branch is straight downwards into the intraventricular septum, dividing into smaller branches throughout the ventricle. So this uh, bundle of this is then uh, travels down into the bundle branches and then it is divided into right <laughs> bundle branch branch and the left bundle branches. <laughs> so, so next so next to that bundle branches gives rise to Purkinje system, Purkinje fibers. So this uh, these these Purkinje fibers are specialized cardiac muscle fiber that distributed electrical energy rapidly through the ventricle. So this Purkinje um, uh, fibers transmit the electrical impulse very rapidly when comparing the two SA, AB and bundle of his. They will transmit the electrical impulse very rapidly. So leading to the effective pumping pump of the pumping of blood out of the heart. Okay. So this is about the electrical activity of heart. So so this here in this slide the possible questions may be what is the uh, okay. SO node is also known as uh, NA So it is also known as Natural pacemaker of the heart. So, so these are all the possible questions. And what is uh, known as gatekeeper of the um, heart of being put a cake class? So, AV node is also known as a, a, a gatekeeper of the heart. And uh, the possible question may be how many uh, impulses can the SA node generate? So, it may be around approximately 60 to 100 impulses the SA node can. Uh, then uh, there will be a question in the location. So where is SA node is located? There are where is uh, AV node is located? Okay. So SA node is located in the junction of the crystal terminal is in the upper wall of the right atrium and the opening of the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava giant, uh, right atrium the giant middle of the that uh, SA node is there and uh, uh, AV node is situated in the coast triangle. Okay. So. So there is a question. So a patient is experiencing a slow heart rate. Which part of the conducting conducting system is most likely affected? So the options are SA node, AV node, bundle of this, and Purkinje system. So I will give ten seconds. You SA can, node. Uh, uh, please write in the chat box. <laughs> Read the question carefully. A patient is experiencing a slow heart rate. Which part of the conduction system is more likely affected? SA node. Okay. Super. So actually the SA node is generating the <coughs> impulses. So Actually, the AV node is responsible for. So the answer is AV node. So the AV node is responsible for transmitting the electrical impulses. So if there is an, any problem in the AV node, it will slow down the. Uh, so the patient may experience slow heart rate. 
Okay. So, so always you should read the question very carefully. Okay. So next, so next we can go see about the ECG. So what is by ECG? You all know it is also known as electrocardiogram or electrocardiography. So in some countries, uh, they will use the abbreviation EKG. So in endless question and all, you get you will see EKG, not ECG, EKG. So uh, K indicates cardio. So in there, in the Western countries, they will write uh, K instead of C. So only they are uh, using EKG, electrocardiogram. So ECG is a non-invasive procedure, which records the electrical activity of the cardiac muscle with the help of electrodes. So it is a non-invasive procedure, as you know, and uh, which will record the electrical activity of the cardiac muscle with the help of electrodes. So this is a brief history of the ECG. So in the 18th century, Luz, Lugi Galvanovi and Alessandro Voltas. So they were doing experience in the experiment in the frog. They uh, detected a small electrical activity while the muscles uh, contract. So frog experiment on the or electrical activity and the muscle contract or electrical activity when they discharge from the muscle. So that is the starting point of the uh, invention of EC. So in the 90, 1843, German physiologist Julius Bernstein developed the capillary um, galvano, galvano electrometer. And in the 1872, Dutch phys physiologist Wilhelm Inthoven. So he only invented the first practical capillary electrometer. So it's also known as Inthoven's string galvanometer. So she only first detected the uh, electrical activity and uh, uh, draw that uh, electrical activity in the paper using the string galvanometer. So he was uh, um, he made. So he was the one who discovered ECG. So in the in the recent times there were uh, many. Many newer adv advancements are there. So, in and on this day, so there may automatic ECG machine, digital signaling processing, computer analysis algorithm. So, there is a modern invention. So, they are uh, trying to invent newly. So, there is a uh, uh, telemetry ECG also there. So, <clears throat> so the patient may be in the somewhere. So, the doctor can uh, assess the ECG in the where he was in the hospital and all. Okay, that is telemetry ECG. So next one is what the purpose? So as you know, it is used to assessing the heart rate, heart rhythm. For example, in the, uh, in the arrhythmia cases, so we are uh, used to diagnose the heart rhythm and uh, diagnosing cardiac conditions. It is used to uh, monitor the cardiac health. So while doing the uh, master health uh, checkup, they are doing ECG for monitor their cardiac health and the preoperative assay. Protein preoperative evaluation, monitoring and response to treatment. So if they are the patient is taking any medicines, if you also periodically they will check for ECG um, how this uh, drug was uh, responding and the screening and routine checkups. Okay. And these are the indications. So so the patient, if the patient complains of palpitation, dizziness, the cyanosis, chest pain, syncope, seizure, and poisoning. So these are all the indications, as you know. So I am skipping the slides. Okay. So next we are going to see about the ECG leads. So there are two types of leads. Bipolar leads and unipolar leads. Okay. So, so the like, um, bipolar leads are also, uh, what are the bipolar leads? Lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3. So these three are called as bipolar leads. So in the unipolar leads, we can divide it into limb leads and the chest leads. So what are the unipolar limb leads? AVR, AVF, and the AVL. And what are all the unipolar chest leads? V12, V6. Okay. So let me discuss about this. So what is in by lead one? So, so can you any, anyone tell me what is in by lead? What is the meaning of lead one? Type in the chat box. <laughs> what is in by lead one? We are all, uh, always familiar with uh, this type of it. But what is in by lead one? So, okay. So, lead one is 
it is an electrical difference mm, difference in the electrical activity between the right arm and the left arm okay i will go to the next slide it will be very useful for okay so so this is lead one so lead uh, this is lead one so it is the difference between the electrical action potential so we can call it as action electrical uh, activity as an action potential it is the difference between the action potential between the right arm and the left arm so right arm ku left arm ku ulla difference electrical uh, impulse or electricity oda simple ah sonna electricity oda difference ah vandu indicate pandradha lead one okay so for example inge da heart irukku so inge heart are, heart impulse start panni inge spread aagum inge spread aagum okay so in the rendu edathukku endha alavukku electricity electrical impulse vandu differ aagirathu so adha da vandu we will denote it as lead one okay so it is a difference in the action potential between the right arm and the left arm okay are you clear or i want to explain one more time are you clear so lead clear understand okay so lead one is the difference in the action potential between the right arm and the left arm similarly lead two is the difference in the action potential between the right arm and the left foot okay so always the right foot will be the neutral we won't take we won't take a right foot okay so lead to is the difference in the action potential between the right arm and the left foot okay so difference in enadu in the edathukku varadum in the electric vara electricity um in the electric vara electrical impulse um minus panna kadikiradha difference okay so similarly the lead 3 means it is a difference in the action potential between the left arm and the left foot okay so this is the lead 1 lead 2 and the lead 3 denotes okay can you are you clear so type clear in the chat box if you are clear type clear in the chat box okay okay thank you thank you okay next we are going to see about the unipolar unipolar limb leads so what are called as unipolar limb leads avr avf and avl so what is meant by avr so can anyone tell me what is the expansion of avr or otherwise you can type in the chat box chat box what is meant by avr what is meant by a or what is meant by b so avr a av means augmented vector a u g u m e n t e d augmented vector so augmented vector of right arm augmented vector of uh, left foot augmented vector of left arm okay so idu da idoda this is the full form for this augment avr okay so what is in by augmentation so in this some um, small classes you will be very familiar with the augmentation vector okay so it denotes the <clears throat> it refers to the amplified representation of electrical activity of the heart from the specific angle or view point or specific angle la namu vandu heart view pannum bodu and electricity evlo and specific angle la rendu heart vandu eppadi namu view pandromo adha edha kodutha it is a representation of the electrical activity of heart from a specific angle okay or specific angle la namu vandu ஹார்ட்டை வியூ பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கும்போது அங்கேருந்து எவ்வளோ எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி நம்மளை நோக்கி வருது அந்த எலக்ட் பர்டிகுலர் எலக்ட்ரோஸ் நோக்கி வருது அப்படின்றது தான் வந்து இட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் ஆகுமெண்டட் வெக்டர் ஓகே ஸோ இட் இஸ் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு தி ஆம்பிளிஃபைடு ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ஆக்டிவிட்டி ஆஃப் ஹார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஆங்கிள் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் இஸ் இன் பை ஏபிஎஃப் ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஆகுமெண்டட் வெக்டர் ஆஃப் லெஃப்ட் ஃபுட் ஓகே ஸோ இது எப்படி சொல்லலாம் அப்படின்னா இட் இஸ் தி difference in the action potential between the right arm and the left arm and the difference between the uh, electrical potential in the left foot so it will be a little bit confusion so first we have to see uh, the uh, action potential difference between the right arm and the left arm so in the rendu edathiliyum evlo 
ஆக்சன் பொட்டன்சியல் டிஃபரன்ஸ் இருக்கு அப்படின்னு பார்க்கணும் இந்த டிஃபரன்ஸையும் பார்க்கணும் ஸோ அந்த அதுதான் வந்து வி வில் டினோட் இட் அஸ் ஏவிஎஃப் ஓகே ஆகுமெண்டட் வெக்டர் ஆஃப் லெப்ட் ஃபுட் ஓகே ஸோ இட் இஸ் தி டிஃபரன்ஸ் இன் தி எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் பொட்டன்சியல் பிட்வீன் தி ரைட் ஆம் அண்ட் தி லெப்ட் ஆம் அண்ட் தி பொட்டன்சியல் டிஃபரன்ஸ் அண்ட் தி பொட்டன்சியல் டிஃபரன்ஸ் இன் தி லெப்ட் ஃபுட் ஆர் யூ கிளியர் ஸோ இட் வில் பி வில் இட் வில் பி கன்ஃபியூஸ் ஆர் யூ கிளியர் டைப் சி இன் தி சேட் பாக்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் கிளியர் Okay, let me explain one more time. So, it is the, so first of all, in the right arm and left arm, we will get the action potential difference. Then, we will get the action potential difference in the left foot. We will get the action potential difference in the left foot. We will get the action potential difference in the argumented vector of left foot. Okay, so it is the difference between the right arm and the left arm. and the difference between the left foot are you clear okay okay super very good so likewise abl argument vector of left arm so idu epdi pandrathu so it is an uh, difference in the action potential of in between the left foot and right arm and the difference between the left arm okay modala indha rendu ku la difference kandupidichu adile rendu indha indha difference namu kandupidikirathu idoda difference kandupidikiradha undu is called it is denoted as abl so similarly the abr argumentative vector of right arm okay so idile enna pannuvom modala indha rendu left arm left foot ku la difference kandupidichu next we have to find the difference between the right arm so that is denoted as abr okay so are you clear so this is the concept of leads lead 1 lead 2 lead 3 abf abl and abr okay so shall we go to the next slide so next one is a unipolar chess list so you know uh, this is these are chess leads b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 okay so these are so this will uh, <coughs> this will uh, uh, detect the electricity in half the heart in the various angle through the chess wall okay so there is a concept called right side ecg so most of you know about the right side of the ecg so enna pannuvom adhe idu adhe chess leads vande apdi reverse panni vachiru okay va so we will i will tell you uh, the uh, least placement so ad apdi nam reverse vachom appadina it will start as right sided ecg so so there is a concept called posterior ecg so v7 v8 v9 also there so i will tell you later so v7 so in for example if the patient is having posterior wall mi means the doctors will ask you to take the posterior lead ecg so we have to keep Uh, v7 v8 and v9 also okay so are you clear with this this two slides shall we go to the next slide okay so in the in the tolly dcg uh, it usually records the electrical activity of the left ventricle so nama tolly ccg la nam paakumbodhu it will assess the electrical activity of the left ventricle so right ventricle ulla electrical activity la vande it will be it is very minimal so that we can't able to detect in the leads so adha solranga so just consider this as a just so just consider this as a left ventricle okay so this is uh, so we can divide that uh, left ventricle into four area this is septal wall this is anterior wall this is anterior lateral wall and the lateral wall and this is inferior wall okay so this pink uh, colored area is supplied by the left anterior descending anterior descending coronary arteries and uh, this yellow this orange uh, brown color brown color is uh, supplied by the left circumflex artery and uh, this green color is supplied by the right coronary artery okay just to consider this is a left ventricle so we can divide this into uh, four four area septal wall 
inferior wall, anterior wall, atrolateral, and the lateral wall. Okay. So this is very important for deciding whether it is an inferior wall MI or an anterior wall MI, lateral wall MI, and septal wall MI. Okay. So uh, just uh, remember that. So if there is an uh, ST elevation, so I will discussing later in the like about the ST elevation. So just to take a note of that. If there is an ST elevation in the V1 and V2, it is termed as septal wall MI. Septal wall MI. Okay. Okay. So if there is an ST elevation in V1 and V2, it is called as septal wall MI. And if there is an elevation in the 2, 3 and AVF, it is called as inferior wall MI. And if there is an elevation... Uh, ST elevation in the V3 to V4, it is called as anterior wall, and V5 to V6, it is also it is called as anterior lateral. And in the lateral wall means there will be a ST, eleva ST elevation in the one lead one, AVL and AVR. Okay, so we'll be discussing some deeper in the next um, later slides. Okay, so this uh, the concept was I think you are clear about the concept of this slide. Okay. So in a totally ECG, it will record the electrical activity of the left ventricle. Okay, just to consider this as a left your left ventricle. Okay, so so I think you are clear about this. So next, the same question. Okay, when placing leads for a totally ECG, which of the following lead placement provides the view of the inferior wall of the heart? So. The options are lead one, a lead AVL, lead two, and lead one. So in the following leads, which lead will uh, capture the electrical activity from the inferior wall of the heart? Type your answer in the chat box. Yes. So the answer has a the answer is in the previous slide. Yes, yes, very good, very good. So the answer is lead answer is C lead three. So it is a yes. So lead two. So lead two will capture the electrical activity from the inferior wall of the left ventricle. Okay. So while Interpreting the M ECG for MI patient, we can use this. Okay. It will be very useful for your practice also. Okay. So this is the placement of the electrode. So the, uh, there are three types of placement of the electrode. First, uh, so this one is called a three, three electrode system, five electrode system, and the this is the six electrode system. Okay. So this and all you are already you know. So this is the placement of the electrode lead ECG electrode lead, lead ECG. Okay, so uh, we are uh, daily taking ECG. Mm, we are placing the chest leads in anywhere in the chest. Okay, so there is a particular place where we have to place V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. Okay, so I will tell that. So. So the limb electrodes are uh, placed in the right arm. So the color coding will be different based on their uh, company. So so uh, there will be indication where to keep uh, in, uh, that electrode in the right arm, whether it is in the left arm or whether it is in the right leg or left leg. Okay. So based on this, you have to keep the electrodes in the limb. Okay. So in the chest list, so most of will make mistake in the check clip. So in the chest list, in the check list also they will um, we note uh, V1, V2, V3, V4, and V6. So first one is where we will keep V1. So V1 is placed in the fourth intercostal space in the right side of the stem. So this is the sternum. One second. So this is the sternum. So this is the first in a intercostal space, second intercostal First in the castle space, second in the castle space, third in the castle space, fourth in the castle space. Okay. So it is placed in the fourth in the castle space, right side of the sternum. Okay. 
So next one is V2. So V2, the same fourth intercostal space in the left side of the sternum. Okay. So V2 is placed in the fourth intercostal space to the left side of the sternum. So you may ask how to find the fourth, in the, uh, fourth intercostal space. So it is very difficult to. So we have to apply pressure over the chest and I have to pump. But uh, simply we can keep this V1 and V2 in the nipple line. So nipple line is considered as the fourth intercostal space. Okay, this is nipple. So nipple line we can keep. We can keep V1 and V4, V2 in the nipple line. Okay, so that is area is considered as the fourth intercostal space. Okay, are you clear? So next we will see about V4. We can see about V3. Okay, so where is where we can place V4? So V4, just draw a line. V4 is placed in the fifth intercostal space. Draw a line in the fifth intercostal space and the mid clavicle. So this is the clavicle and just draw a line from the mid clavicular line. Okay. So the intersecting point is called as so intersecting point where we have to keep V4 uh, electrode. Okay. So V4 is kept in the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. So this is an imaginary line which was drawn from the mid clavicular mid clavicular. Okay. It is an imaginary line only. So the point where the mid clavicular line and the fifth intercostal space intersect, we have to keep the uh, V4 electrodes okay so so where to place a v3 so v3 can be placed anywhere between the v2 and v4 okay there is a no specific area to place v3 we can place v3 at the, any anywhere between v2 and v4 okay so next one is v5 so v5 in a pono are they that uh, 15 the castle space in the anterior axillary line so anterior axillary line so on the other we have to keep V5. Anterior axillary na tell you along with you munadi. Anterior axillary line in the 15 the castle space and the anterior axillary line. Okay. And in the and V6. So V6 is placed in the that uh, 15 the castle space, mid axillary line. In the mid of the axillary, you have to draw a imaginary line. So that is uh, where there is there we have to keep the V6 electrodes. Okay. Are you clear? So V1 is placed in the fourth intercostal space. Fourth intercostal space, the right side of the sternum. And V2 is uh, placed in the left intercostal space in the left side of the sternum. V4 is placed in the fifth intercostal place, uh, line intersecting the fifth intercostal place and the mid clavicular line. V5, uh, fifth intercostal space, anterior axillary line, and in V and V6 in the Fifth in the castle space in the mid axillary line. Okay. So this is about the placement of the um, chest list V1 to V6. Are you clear? So if you are clear, type C in the chat box. Okay, good. Okay, so this is the placement of the electrodes. So there is a, if you are uh, asking to take a posterior list, we have to keep V7. So where we will keep V7, it is also in the uh, fifth intercostal space and the fifth intercostal space posterior axillary line. So V6 na menga vai mid axillary line. So V7 menga vai kono posterior axillary line. Adhe fifth intercostal space. Posterior axillary line level and then we can V7. So V8 and we can so where to keep V8? So V8 also in the fifth intercostal space in the mid scapular line. Mid scapular. So we can see scapular case. Mid scapular. Mid scapular line. So there is a we should try a major line in the mid scapular line. So we have to place where the line intersecting the fifth intercostal space and the mid scapular line. So there we have to place V7. And as soon as V9. So V9. So V9 also fifth intercostal space and two centimeter posterior uh, left of the vertebra. 
ஓகே நம்ம வெட்டி பிராவு டூ சென்டிமீட்டர் தள்ளி வைக்கணும் அதே பிப்டீன் காசு ஸ்பேஸ்ல டூ சென்டிமீட்டர் ஃப்ரம் தி வெட்டி பிரா ஓகே அது கிளியர் அபோர்த்திஸ் Are you clear? Am I going fast? Are you clear? Okay, super. So this is the placement of electrodes. Okay. So next we are going to see about the ECG paper. okay so first see this first see this large okay so um, usually uh, ecg will machine run at this standard rate of 25 mm per second okay so in the every ecg there will be it will be denoted in the uh, lower side okay it is about standard rate is about 25 mm per second and it 12 mm in the height amplitude okay so idu da vandu standard a ellame vachikonu so we can change this option also so we can uh, reduce this uh, uh, 25 mm to 10 15 and uh, that uh, 10 mm amplitude as uh, 5 15 so indha mari maathikalam so we have to it is already preset in the ecg machine okay so the standard rate is 25 mm per second and uh, 10 mm amplitude okay so 25 mm per seconds na enna artham so 25 mm vandu and the paper vandu move per second or second ku 25 mm vandu and the paper vandu move aagum so adha dhaan vandu adoda principle okay so 25 second seconds na indha indha so this is 25 mm so this is 1 second so from here to here it is 1 second so there is 25 small square 25 25 small square so 5 large large square so 5 large so or second ke ivlo ivlo paper vande move aganum so that is the principle in printing the ecg paper okay so so next come to this come to this so this is a one small square so in the or small square nam eduthe so idla vachom appadina so idu idu 1 mm so inda idu vandu 1 mm nama scale la paathona it is 1 mm so 1 mm equals 0.04 seconds okay 1 mm equals 0.0 seconds so nama seconds la paathona it denotes 0.0 second and this 1 mm is 0.1 volts 1 milli volt okay so inda mm vandu so inda mm vandu it denotes second time in the mm and it denotes the volt okay so this mm in the uh, implies 0.04 second and this one mm implies 0.01 millivolt okay so adha nam apdi idla apply pannu so idla evlo irukke 1 2 3 4 5 5 small square so evlo in the distance seconds evlo irukum 0.4 into 5 so totally 0.20 seconds okay சோ அதே மாதிரி தான் இதுல சோ இந்த 5 mm வந்து சோ சோ இது ஒரு mm 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 சோ टोटலி देयर वाज 5 mm 5 mm சோ தட் இம்ப்ளைஸ் 0.01 மில்லி வோல்ட் ஓகே சோ திஸ் இஸ் தி ஈசிஜி பேப்பர் சோ சோ வைல் இன்டர்பிரட்டிங் தி ஈசிஜி वी हैव टू क्लियरली वी हैव टू नो திஸ் ஓகே ஆர் கிளியர் அபௌட் திஸ் so this is the basic uh, measurements in the ecg paper are you clear type clear in the chat box okay so just you have to just uh, memorize panikinga so no other option okay so just to memorize so next next is another another question so the question is a patient is undergoing an ecg and the paper is set at a speed of 25 mm per second so how many large square 
represent one second in the ECG paper. So the options are five large square, ten large square, uh, fifteen large square, uh, or twenty large square. So type your answer in the chat box. Yes. So the answer is in the previous slide. Yes. Very good. Good. Super. Very good. So the answer is five large square. Okay. So I think you are well versed about the ECG paper measurement. Okay. Super. Very good. So next we are going to see about the axis of the heart. Okay. So what is in the axis of the heart? So actually, <clears throat> Uh, the human body axis will be straight line. Okay. So uh, consider it is on the number of heart. It is the body. It is the of heart. So number of human body or axis on the body. But heart every in the side line is tilted towards the left. Left lighter tilt. So the axis of the heart will be in the mother. Okay. This is the axis of the heart. And this is the axis of the human body. So that is the axis of the heart. So clinically, it is not much important, but we have to know what um, about the axis of the heart. So for example, if you are uh, having ventricular hypertrophy and all, we have to, we can diagnose with the help of this. Okay. So, so axis of deviation. So we will say that left axis deviation or right axis deviation based on the ECG interpretation. So what is in the active axis deviation? It is the shift of uh, deviation or shift in the normal electrical axis of the heart. So normal electrical axis is the electrical axis a heart order normal electrical axis. Okay. So if there is any, we want to see if there is any shift in the electrical axis of. So the electrical axis represents the direction of heart electrical activity as it spreads through the cardiac chambers during the heartbeat. Okay. So in this picture, you can see, in this picture, you can see this is the normal axis. So uh, minus 30 degree to uh, plus 30, 90 degree, which is the normal QRS axis. So this is uh, in the area in the chapter, it is called as right axis deviation. This is right extreme axis deviation. This is left axis deviation. So, so, yes. So while recording the ECG, and uh, the ECG shows like this. If the uh, canvas is in the, uh, so this is uh, right axis deviation. In the yellow right axis deviation, this is extreme axis deviation. And this is L uh, left axis deviation. This is normal axis. So in the in the other in the chapter, na, I'm, so I will tell you how to interpret this. Eh? So this is the axis interpretation, whether it is a normal axis or a left axis deviation or right axis deviation. Okay. So uh, while interpreting the axis, we have to see only the lead one and the lead one and Lead ABF. So in the random lead lane path, the QRS complex and we can uh, uh, see whether it is a normal axis or a LAD or a RAD, right axis deviation or left axis deviation. So in the lead one and the ABF, if the QRS complex complex is in positive direction, it is normal axis. Okay. So in the lead one and the ABF is uh, the QRS complex is. Positive means it is called a, we can diagnose it as normal axis. So if it is in the lead one, it is a positive and in ABF, if it is a negative means, so there may be left axis deviation. Okay. So left axis deviation. What is in bed left axis deviation? So it is something, the heart is uh, something deviated towards the left. Okay. That is left axis deviation. Abdi namo mean pani. Heart is the and there may be hypertrophy like left ventricular hypertrophy the heart may uh, tilt some somewhat tilted towards the left that is called as left axis deviation so the the, the, the condition so ventricular hypertrophy heart conduction abnormalities even myocardial infection so there may be there may be 
possible of having left uh, axis deviation. Okay. And on next one is, so if the QRS complex is negative in the lead one and the positive in the AVF, uh, we will diagnose this right axis deviation. So right axis deviation in another condition. So maybe in the ventricular hypertrophy, right ventricular hypertrophy, chronic lung diseases, pulmonary embolism, and certain congenital heart defects. So we can have right axis deviation. Okay. So extreme axis deviation. So uh, if there is, if the QRS complex is negative in both lead one and AVF, we can diagnose this as extreme axis deviation. Okay. So this is an axis interpretation. Are you clear? So I know, I think you are uh, clear about this diagnosing and uh, diagnosis axis interpretation. Okay, so next we are going to, so time is going fast, <laughs> so I want to complete it. So next we are going to see about the ECG wave form. So you are very familiar with this. So ECG, what are the ECG waves? P waves, QRS complex, P waves and the U waves. Okay, so each one, de each one denotes the each cardiac activity. Okay, so what does P wave denotes? So P wave, in a, uh, so... For while seeing an ECG, if there is a P wave present, means you can uh, tell the electrical activity has started started in the SA node. So sinoatrial area, electrical impulse on the generator. Abdina, there will be a P wave. Okay. So we can tell it as atrial depolarization. Atrial depolarization. What is in by depolarization? Depolarization and repolarization. So simply we can say it as say it as an contraction. Okay, depolarization a contraction, a repolarization a dilation. Okay. So P wave it indicates the atrial depolarization. Okay. So uh, PQ, PQ interval. Okay. So either on the interval in solo, PQ interval. So we will see up uh, detail in the later slide. So PQ, so PQ it denotes the time taken by the electrical impulse from the SA node to AB node. So the electrical impulse from the SA node are in which AB node reach our time, we will say it as PQ interval, PQ interval, okay. It is the time, PQ interval, time between the uh, AB node electrical impulse start again. A SA, SA node like electrical impulse start again, AB node like reach other time now, and we will say it as PQ interval. Okay, so next one is QRS complex. So QRS complex denotes ventricular depolarization. Ventricular depolarization. Okay, ventricular depolarization. So ventricular depolarization in Chabrina, there will be a QRS complex. Okay, so next one is T wave. T wave index indicates. Ventricular repolarization, ventricular dilation, ventricular repolarization, repolarization. Okay. So each wave in the ECG denotes the each cardiac activity. Okay. Are you clear? So P wave indicates the atrial atrial depolarization and the QRS complex indicates the ventricular depolarization. T wave indicates the uh, ventricular repolarization mm, and the uh, QR. PQ interval is the time between the uh, the time taken to by the electrical impulse uh, to travel between a, a, a SA node and the AB node. Okay, so uh, are you clear? So I would are you clear? Type O in the chat box. If you are clear, type O in the chat box. Okay, super. Okay, thank you. So next we are going to see about the P wave. So as I have told, P wave indicates the atrial depolarization. So which indicates the contraction of atria. So we on the ECG P wave on the electrical uh, SA node like electrical activity start So for example, on the uh, heart block level on the, there will be no P waves. P waves are atrial flutter. So, this is the atrial fibrillation. 
பிவு இருக்கு இருக்காது ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி தான் ஸோ அது அப்போ என்னவோ அது ஏற்றியல் இதில் வந்து ஜென்ரேட் ஆகலை ஏற்றியல வந்து ஜென்ரேட் ஆகலை ஸோ ஏற்றியால வந்து இம்பல்ஸ் ஜென்ரேட் ஆயிடுச்சுன்னா ஏற்றியல் பண்ணுறேன் ஸோ ஸோ பிவே இண்டிகேட்ஸ் ஏற்றியல் டீபோலரைசேஷன் விச் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் தி கான்ட்ரா கண்ட்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஏற்றியா ஸோ இசிஜில் எப்படி இருக்கும் இட் இஸ் எ ஸ்மால் ரவுண்டட் அப்வர்ட் டிஃப்ளெக்ஷன் பிஃபோர் தி கியூஆர்எஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் ஸோ நம்ம ப்ரீவியஸாக இசிஜில் பார்த்தோம்ல ஸோ இட் இஸ் அன் அப்வர்ட் ஸ்மால் ரவுண்ட் அப்வர்ட் டிஃப்ளெக்ஷன் பிஃபோர் தி கியூஆர்எஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் ஓகே So the duration. So the duration வந்து ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஸோ அதை கொஸ்டின்ஸ் கூட வரலாம் டூரேஷனில் ஸோ த டூரேஷன் மீன்ஸ் எயிட்டி டு ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி மில்லி செகண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ செகண்ட்ஸில் சொல்லணும்னா பாயிண்ட் எயிட் டு ஒன் பாயிண்ட் டூ செகண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ இந்த மில்லி செகண்ட்ஸ் எயிட்டி டு ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி மில்லி செகண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ த ஆம்பிடியூட் த ஹைட் டஸ் நாட் எக்ஸி டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் மில்லி மீட்டர் ஓகே ஸோ டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் மில்லி மீட்டர் கூட இதை எடுத்துக்கிறாங்க So, P wave is, evaluating P waves is very important in diagnosing, diagnosing and monitoring the atrial rhythm disorder such as the atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, supraventricular tachycardia and the atrial premature bleed. So, it is very important to assess the P waves. Okay, so in this there will be no P waves in, the, in these conditions. So, abnormal P waves. So, abnormal P waves will be seen in the atrial enlargement, conduction abnormality or atrial arrhythmias. So, if there is an enlarged P waves, if there is an enlarged P waves, it is called as P mitral A. So, it indicates the left atrial enlargement. Okay. So, P enlarged P waves indicate, is also called as P mitral A, which indicates the left atrial enlargement. So, there may be bifid or notched P wave. So, uh, see the picture. So, the, here see. there is a notched okay the p wave vand or depression la vandirukku paarenga so there is a notch so that is called as p pulmonary line okay p pulmonary line so that suggests the right atrial enlargement so indha maadhiri p wave la indha maadhiri indichina we can blindly tell it as right atrial enlargement okay so in the atrial fibrillation or atrial fibrillation p may p waves may be absent or replaced by irregular fibrillatory waves so in the atrial flutter there will be a uh, waves called f waves or flutter waves so we will call it as f waves are flutter waves okay so are you clear about the p wave okay so so this is two uh, terms are very important p mitral a and uh, p pulmonary a so p mitral a indicates the left atrial enlargement and p pulmonary a uh, suggests right atrial enlargement and uh, this measurements 80 to 120 milliseconds or 0.8 to 1.2 seconds and uh, the amplitude does not exceed 2.5 more than 2.5 mm okay so this also very important abnormal p waves can be seen in atrial enlargement conduction abnormality and the atrial arrhythmia so the the questions may be from this uh, these are the possible questions okay so next we are see about, we want to see about qrs complex so qrs complex denotes ventricular depolarization so indicating the contraction of the ventricle so the duration should be less than 120 milliseconds or 1.2 seconds okay so in the q wave there are three forms q wave q three waves q waves r waves and the s waves okay so what is in the q wave so it is the first downward display uh, deflection following the p wave first downward display uh, deflection following the p wave is called as q wave okay and uh, uh, the upward if a tall upward deflection following q wave following the q wave is the p, r wave and uh, it represent the rapid depolarization of the ventricle rapid and the ventricle when the rapid uh, contract agum bodhu na it will uh, produce r um, r wave okay so and s wave is the downward deflection following the r wave it represent the completion of ventricular depolarization ventricular depolarization completion agum bodhu ஜெனரேட் ஆகிற வேவ் வந்து இட் இஸ் டினோட் எஸ் எஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இதுதான் அதோட வே கியூ வேவ் கியூ வேவ் ஆர் வேவ் எஸ் வேவ் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் த பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி கியூஆர்எஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் ஸோ அப்நார்மல் கியூஆர்எஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் எதுல எல்லாம் இருக்கும் ஸோ பண்டில் பிரான்ச் பிளாக்ஸ் ஸோ பண்டில் பிரான்ச் பிளாக்ஸ் பிளாக்ஸ்ல தெர் வில் பி வைடனிங் ஆர் ப்ளாங் தி கியூஆர்எஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் ஸோ இந்த ரைட் பண்டில் பிரான்ச் பேக் தெர் பி broad slurred broad slurred s wave in lead v1 and v2 so we will be seeing detail in the coming slide 
So left ventricle, left bundle branch block level one, there will be broad airways in lead five and lead six. So ventricular hypertrophy, there will be increased amplitude and the duration increased duration of QRS complex. So if there is an increased um, amplitude and duration, we will tell it as uh, ventricular hypertrophy. So in the myocardial infarction, there will be abnormal QS, which are deeper and wider than the normal Q, which indicates the myocardial infarction. So ventricular in the ventricular mass, there will be a wider this are QRS complex. Okay. So next one is T wave. So T wave represents the ventricular repolarization. Ventricular repolarization. So which indicates the relaxation of ventricle. So ventricular what is in by repolarization? It is the relaxation. So it is a rounded upward deflection after the QRS complex. So in the EC device we have seen no that is rounded upward deflection of QRS complex. So the measurements will be less than 0.2 seconds. Okay, that is 200 milliseconds. Okay, so T wave inversion is LLR. So in the myocardial infarction, uh, myocardial ischemia, there will be inverted T waves in specific list. So otherwise, we can see about uh, tell it as what type of myocardial ischemia. So there will be a T wave inversion in this specific case, okay. And then there will be a T inversion in the bundle branch block. And there will be a tall or peak T waves in the hyperkalemia. So it will be a question our lung. So tall T wave, which is always known as hyperacute T waves. Tall T waves are hyperacute, hyperacute T waves. So it is seen in the hyperkalemia. What is in by hyperkalemia? Increase in the potassium level, okay, from the normal level. So the if the T waves is flat or low, low amplitude, it is hypokalemia or hypocalcemia. Okay. So certain medication also affect the T waves, such as diuretics, antiarrhythmic medication, such as class one or antiarrhythmic such as cunidine, brocamide, and class three antiarrhythmic drugs such as amiodarone, sotalol, and uh, certain digitalis. For example, digoxin also can cause uh, T wave abnormality and antipsychotic anti medication may also cause T wave abnormalities. Okay. So, this is about the T wave. And next one is Q wave. So, most of the uh, ECG won't have Q wave. So, Q wave represents the repolarization of papillary muscles. So, there are many theories regarding this Q wave. So first one is depolarization of Purkinje system. So the depolarization of Purkinje system, which are specialized cardiac muscles, well, the rapid deconduction induction of ventricles. So it will you will produce panel soldanga. Delayed repolarization of papillary muscles. So that one and the U wave produce panel soldanga. And certain electrolyte imbalance also uh, produce U waves, such as hypokalemia, uh, ventricular hypertrophy, bradycardia, and certain medications also uh, cause U wave. So if the U wave follows a normally T-shaped wave, it is assumed to be normal. So T-shape on the normal or U wave on the chapter, it is considered as normal. Okay, if it is follows a flattened T wave, it may be pathological. Okay. If T wave is normal, uh, the following U wave is also a normal. If T wave is flattened or abnormal, the following U wave also considered to be abnormal, considered to be pathological. Okay. So next one is. Question. So, what waveform represents ventricular depolarization of an ECG? So, the answer options are P wave, QRS complex, T wave, and the U wave. So, type your answer in the chat box. Yes, the answer is option B, QRS complex. Okay. And a patient present with ST segment elevation in leads V5 and V6 on the ECG. This finding most indicative of options are atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia, myocardial infarction. So ST elevation is seen in yes, option D, myocardial infarction. So this next uh, we are going to see about the segments and intervals of ECG. So so uh, what is mean by segment? So segments are flat lines between two waveforms. So in the ECG segment, in the PR segment, 
or and st segment so idu rendu da we will say it as segment so segments are flat lines between two waveform rendu wave ku naduvula iruka flat line da we will call it as segment okay so pr segment and st segment so what is in by interval so it is the, it is measured from the beginning of one waveform come on to the beginning of other waveform so pr interval so example is pr interval so p wave start aarambich q adutha wave qrs complex start pandra varaikum ulladhu dhaan vande pr interval it is called as pr interval okay so this is the difference between the segment and the intervals so i think you are clear about that so segments are flat lines between two wave forms and the intervals are measured from the beginning of one wave form to a beginning of another wave form so we are intervals so the either so as the time is running out i am little bit faster going little bit faster so idella enna na idu pannalam so this pr interval represent the onset of atrial depolarization the p wave and the time onset of atrial depolarization adu varaikum the time so the time ranges from the 0.12 seconds to 0.20 seconds so prolonged intervals uh, pr interval is seen in first first degree ab block and certain medications such as beta blockers or uh, calcium channel blocks will prolong the pr interval so shorter interval edhil ella irukum wolf park itself white syndrome so idhila vande there will be a shortened pr interval okay then qt interval so qt interval should be less than 440 milliseconds in men and get less than 460 milliseconds in women so prolonged qt is seen in um, risk of developing so if the patient is having prolonged qt they are uh, very risk for developing arrhythmias so the patient may go for arrhythmias such as ventricular fibrillation or sudden cardiac death may also occur so next one is uh, st segment so this is very important segment st segment so so st segment is elevated in the acute myocardial infarction myocardial injury or pericarditis so st segment is seen in myocardial ischemia la la vande st segment vande depressed a irukum so myocardial infarction myocardial injury pericarditis vande there will be st segment elevation okay so idha inna konni deepa solren actually the, the st segment should be in the isoelectric line okay isoelectric line la da irukum so in the next slide la solren so what is in by isoelectric line so this is the this line is called as isoelectric line so idu da isoelectric line so so idu da vandu st segment elevation so inge irukra st seg idu vandu so it should have reached the baseline baseline la reach aagi ipdi vandu da idu povum so this is normal ecg so in the ecg la pathinga appadina so there is a elevation from the baseline so that is called as st segment elevation so st segment depression na idu vandu isoelectric line taandi poiruchu so that is st depression okay so idu da the depression so this is called as st depression so st segment elevation will be seen in the myocardial infarction myocardial injury or pericarditis and st segment depression will be seen in the myocardial ischemia so st segment depression aanduchu appadina we will say it as a ischemia okay so are you clear this is very important st segment elevation and st segment depression okay so this is a typical st segment elevation so this should have come to the baseline and then there should there can be a t t wave so it, so this is the elevation st elevation okay so we will call it as st elevation so in the ecg so here there is an ecg so actually in the ecg in the chest leads chest lead there should be at least 2 millimeter elevation irukum 2 millimeter elevation indichina da it is typical typical so 1 millimeter indich appadina so we will consider as atypical okay so in the height vande 2 millimeter ku mele irukum in the height one in the height vande 2 millimeter ku mele indichina da we will 2 millimeter na rendu small square adukku mele indichina da it is typical and in the limb leads la vande 1 mm irundhale or one small small square indichinaale we will call it as st seg st segment elevation okay so next one is so this is the uh, diagnosing uh, mi using whether it is an anterior wall mi septal wall mi lateral mi okay so if the st elevation in the v1 to v6 this is called as anterior mi is mm, this v1 to v4 the septal mi lateral mi inferior wall mi 2 3 abf means so there will be questions in this 
செக்ஷன் ஸோ இந்த லீவ்ல எல்லாம் இந்த லீவ்ல எல்லாம் வந்து எஸ்டி எலிவேஷன் இருந்துச்சுன்னா என்ன என்ன டைப் ஆஃப் எம்ஐ இன்ஃபீரியர் வால் எம்ஐயா என்ன போஸ்டர் வால் எம்ஐயா அப்படின்ற மாதிரி ஸோ தெர் வில் பி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இன் இன் சம் கேசஸ் தெர் வில் பி ரெசி ப்ரோக்கல் எஸ்டி டிப்ரெஷன் ஆல்சோ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இன் தி இன்ஃபீரியர் வால் எம்ஐ தெர் வில் பி எஸ்டி எலிவேஷன் இன் டூ த்ரீ அண்ட் ஏபிஎஃப் அண்ட் தெர் வில் பி எஸ்டி டிப்ரெஷன் இன் ஒன் அண்ட் ஏபிஎல் ஓகே தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ரெசி ப்ரோக்கல் எஸ்டி டிப்ரெஷன் ஓகே ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் டேக் எ நோட் ஆஃப் திட் So I am somewhat rushing. So next only we are going to see about the AV block. So AV block, the atrial ventricular blocks are conduction defer within the AV junction that imbibes the conduction of atrial impulses to ventricular pathway. There are three types. First one is the first degree uh, AV block, second degree AV block, and third degree AV block. So first degree AV block, the rate is usually 60 to uh, 100 beats per minute. So first degree AV block, the rate will be normal. So there will be a prolonged PR interval. Okay, so there will be prolonged PR in the interval. URS complex is usually normal and rhythm is regular. Okay, so uh, first AV degree syndromes is caused by inferior volume, MI, ischemia, hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, digoxin toxicity, calcium cyanide blockers, amiterone and use of antiatomy. So, we can get a, a question. So, what are the conditions? ஒரு நாலு கண்டிஷன் கொடுத்து ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிகிரி ஏவி பிளாக் எதுல எல்லாம் வரும் எதுல வரும் அப்படின்ட்டு கெட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஸோ த ரேட் வில் பி நார்மல் கிளியர் தெர் வில் பி ஒன்லி ப்ரொலாங்டு பியார் இன்டர்வல் இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிகிரி ஹார்ட் பிளாக் அண்ட் இந்த செகண்ட் டிகிரி ஹார்ட் பிளாக் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் தி வீடியோ ஆஃப் தி ஒன் செகண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் தி வீடியோ ஆஃப் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிகிரி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிகிரி ஹார்ட் பிளாக் So video is playing. Can you see the video? Okay. So this is the um, ECG rhythm of the first degree heart rate. So the rate is normal. So there will be prolonged, there will be prolonged PR interval. Prolonged QR interval, uh, PR interval. Okay. So next one is second degree heart block. So in this uh, atrial rhythm is regular and the ventricular rhythm is regular. Atrial rhythm is regular and ventricular, regular, uh, ventricular rhythm is irregular. Atrial rate exceeds the ventricular rate. Okay. And the PR interval is shorter after drop. So PR interval is short and 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 short. So in the video, you can see it. So this is the video. One second. So this is the video. So PR interval is short and short and short and short and short and short. So that is second degree AV block. In this there are two types, Mobis type 1 and Mobis type 2. So Mobis type 1 is also known as Venky batch, Venky batch type. Um, so there you may uh, get question in this, uh, in this also. That is the name of Mobis type uh, AV block. It is Venky batch. So next one is second degree av block mobis type 2 so here the atrial rhythm is regular and the ventricular rhythm may be regular or irregular so pp interval con there will be a pp interval con the urs complex is periodically absent or disappears so this is the leads of an uh, second degree heart block so adha le epdi irukum pr interval shorter ay shorter ay or beat miss aagum idhula vende there will be a pp interval vende constant a irukum So the QRS complex periodically absent or disappears. Okay. So this is about second degree heart block. And third degree heart block, uh, atrial rhythm regular, ventricular rhythm regular and slower than rate rate. No relationship between P waves and QRS complex. No constant PR interval. QRS interval normal and miss. So this is the complete heart block. So this condition may be seen in the hypotension, hypotension angina, heart failure, fever hyperexia may okay and as soon as bundle branch block so idhula vandu neenga mukkiyama therinjikka vendiyathu v1 v6 la right bundle branch block la vandu v1 leaves la vandu there will be m pattern so idhula pathinga na m pattern m madri irukla m pattern irukum v1 la vandu m pattern irukum v6 la vandu w pattern irukum so w pattern So, this is the W pattern. Okay. 
So it is a one day right pattern. So there will be a R S R dash pattern. So R S R dash pattern. Okay, this is bundle branch block. Right bundle. So this is left bundle branch. So it will end up on V one level one day W pattern. So this is W pattern. And V six level one day there will be a M pattern. So this is the main difference between the right bundle branch block and the left bundle branch block. Okay. So it will be easy to do. So next one is ATL flutter. So in the ATL filter, the rhythm is regular. So there will be regular rhythm. The rate is between the uh, approximately 110 beats per meter. And the P wave is flutter. So this is the flutter wave, F wave. Regular. So this is the F called as flutter wave or F wave. Flutter wave or F wave. Present. The F waves are constant. So the like video path is now. So this is the ATL flutter. So the P wave pathing na tell you. A P wave on the flutter waves are ko. but regular are ko, but flutter are ko. So next one is ATL superlation. So in this the rhythm is regular. So rhythm in the is the one the rhythm. It is a so this is rhythm. So rhythm on the regular are ko. the rate may be uh, 90. Approximately around 90. So, PR interval one day, Namala, the Panamudia, Kandapika Mudia. Okay. So, there we wait. So, video one day, the mother. So, QRS complex. Irukko. So, P wave one day, Namala, Namala, the Panamudia. So, that is atrial fibrillation. Atrium or two, fibrillite. So that is atrial fibrillation. So next one is ventricular tachycardia. So in the ventricular tachycardia, there is a regular rhythm. So rhythm on the re there will be a regular. So there will be absent P wave. P wave absent arco, PR interval absent arco. But QRS complex matu wide arco. So more than 0.32 seconds. Arco. So it is on the QRS complex. So as on the wide arco. P wave, there will be no P wave and no PR interval. Okay. So without a video. So this is the ventricular cardiac, ventricular tachycardia. So you may get an image based question in this uh, or image or easy to see whether you are identifying this, identify this, which type of uh, uh, rhythm. Arrhythmias. So you may have a skill test. Uh, skill question on the is the skill test level on the must ship such you identify panna So next one is ventricular fibrillation. So this one the other Tarumara ventricular on the two chip there. So you may know on the PV absent or QR PR interval absent or QRS complex accent absent or co. So it is so this is ventricular fibrillation. Okay, so next one is A system. So there will be a flat line in the A system. So these are the questions. So time is running out. I am so okay. So what are the nursing responsibilities? So first one is we have to explain, explain the patient and get concern. Uh, then we can get a word concern. We have to first we have to explain the what we are going to do okay so uh, next one is we have to provide privacy and dignity so there should be a closed room and we have to position the patient in the supine position and there should uh, if necessary we can do skin preparation also so we can clean the chest area with the alcohol to remove any oil oil area. so we have to place the electrode in a, a correct position and we have to reduce artifacts what is in the artifacts so, we have to read the artifacts in the reading. So, that is called as artifacts. Uh, so, we have to place the alert source um, correctly. And uh, we have to check the lead, uh, wire leads, whether there is any defect or not. And we have to, while removing the alert source, we have to maintain the skin integrity. So, remember old people, if you the alert source, maybe the skin is peeled. So, why do you remember old people? So, next one is the documentation and the skin cleaning. So, we will do the skin. We will do the skin. We will do the skin. 
சரி ரிமூவ் பண்ணாம அப்படியே விட்டுருவோம் ஸோ அதெல்லாம் பண்ணக்கூடாது ஓகே ஸோ தேட் இஸ் ஆல் அபவுட் தி பேசிக் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரோ கார்டியோகிராம் ஸோ இட் இஸ் அ வாஸ்ட் சப்ஜெக்ட் வி ஐ கான் ஏபிள் டு கவர் இன் திஸ் ஒன் ஒன் அவர் ஸோ ஸோ தேங்க் யூ ஃபார் ஆல் ஸோ ஸோ வி ஆர் பிளானிங் டு ப்ரிப்பேர் யூ பேஸ்ட் ஆன் திஸ் என்னென்ன பாசிபிள் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வரும் அப்படின்ட்டு நாங்க வந்து உங்களை வந்து ட்ரை பண்ற ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்றது தான் வி ஆர் பிளானிங் ஸோ அதாவது நீங்கள் எப்படி படிக்கணும் அப்படின்னா ஒரு சப்ஜெக்ட் எடுத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இப்போ ஒரு மயக்காடியல் இன்ஃபாக்ஷனே எடுத்தீங்கன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்க ஸோ அதில் வந்து என்னென்ன பாசிபிள் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வர்றதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்கு அப்படின்னு தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா யூஆர் தி வின்னர் ஓகே ஸோ அதை தவிர வேற எதுவுமே கேட்க முடியாது ஸோ அதுதான் உங்களோட ஸோ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தி டைம் நர்சிங் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ல வந்து ரொம்ப கான்சன்ட்ரேட் பண்ணுங்க ஸோ ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் ஸோ அப்ளை பண்ணாதவங்க அப்ளை பண்ணுங்க அப்ளை பண்ணி ப்ரையாரிட்டி கொடுங்க so you will be there here so thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank my you wife. thank you bro thank you my voice is audible yes clearly audible thank you thank you actually we are already running out of time so i will finish very fast don't worry are you bro it will quickly come up and see i can no problem complete it in the time yeah very important topic you taken sir that's also the time needed more time needed tomorrow we have another two topic also today i will complete very fast don't worry and uh, shall i continue sir Okay, okay, you can continue. Thank you. So now we are going to continue our next class. Uh, today we are going to discuss about one of the small and very important topic, acid-base imbalance. Everyone knows, everyone knows our body needs balance. Yes sir, no? balance. Balance means there is no acid-base. In both there will be a balance. If you need, if you have balance, you are normal body. If you have imbalance, you have any some condition so that is imbalance so normally what will happen you see there will be a weighing machine weighing machine like example weighing machine so you should be having normal ph for example 7.35 to 7.45 if your body goes down then again you will get acidosis when your body gets high in ph level you will get alkalosis so normally what will happen so your body needs both acid and base equal balance when you are getting abnormality we will get body will be you will get a uh, uh, disturbance so now we will see so normally what will happen our acid uh, ph level be 7.35 to 7.45 so normally what will happen so normally the when patient having 7.35 less than 7.35 we will get acidosis when the body having more than 7.45 our body get alkalosis so normally our survival range will be in the ph ph having more than 6.8 to 8.0 is we having less than means we'll get death so na next so normally we you need to know basic physiology what will happen in the i will explain very simple manner so normally you are taking breath when you are taking breath what will happen will carbon dioxide will go inside yes or no once carbon dioxide goes inside so carbon dioxide And, and normally when you are taking breath what will happen you will get cellular metabolism so simple cellular metabolism means from the cell we will get carbon dioxide yes or no for example we have carbon oxygen will go inside and carbon dioxide will come out so same time the from the cellular anaerobic respiration will take place from the anaerobic we will get the co2 where we have blood vessels the water will be there here the co2 and it will make together it will join it will take the carbon dioxide plus water then there will be a carbonic anhydrinase so what will happen it will convert as a carbonic acid when carbonic acid again divided into the where we have bicarbonate plus hydrogen ion just to think very simple manner hydrogen ion is the ph when hydrogen ion is more that acidosis when hydrogen ion just to think hydrogen ion is more acid level hydrogen mean acid h plus is acid 
when acid levels more you will get acidosis when hydrogen ion is less you will get alkalosis so ph level when the patients having less you will get acidosis and the ph level more you will get alkalosis and simple here what will happen our kidney very very important role our kidney maintains hydrogen ion carbon dioxide together when the body gets low automatically it will absorb when body having more automatically what will happen it will be secreted and it will be passed so same thing again lungs lungs what will happen here during the ventilation normally our carbon dioxide will be eliminated we to maintain our normal ph level very simple thing you keep in your mind the carbon dioxide when eliminating to maintain our body balance of ph and same thing here our bicarbonate and hydrogen ion maintain together means join together to maintain our ph level and simple mechanism and next we have respiratory mechanism i told no respiratory normally what will happen just think your body hypoventilation you are taking very slow breathing when the patient having hypoventilation like patient having some breathing problem a respiratory problem and the patient having some neural problem so automatically what will happen when the patient taking decreased breathing patient not taking proper breathing normal breathing edukla abdinna na so your pco2 level will increase pco2 level will increase and same time your hydrogen ion level increase now what hydrogen ion na now hydrogen ion acid when acid increase acidosis acid increase acidosis and the time same time what will happen our brain central receptor chemo receptor body stimulate pannum stimulate panni increase breathe pannum breathe pannu nariya acid irukku you have to bring out you have to bring out abdin breathe hyperventilate pannum so normally what will happen when the patient is taking hyperventilation your hydrogen ion will decrease and your carbon dioxide also also decrease so this is a simple mechanism hypoventilation na carbon dioxide will accumulate by carbon dioxide will accumulate ana i mean hydrogen ion acid also will accumulate so automatically your brain will stimulate then again it will hyperventilate again it will decrease it's a simple respiratory mechanism kidney so here what will happen kidney will maintain the our extracellular fluid extracellular maintenance so mainly what will happen it's secreting hydrogen ion and reabsorbing the carbon means bicarbonate and producing new carbonate here what will happen during alkalosis excessive carbon dioxide means excessive bicarbonate will be bond together if you know what happens bicarbonate and hydrogen ion are together and excrete agum rendu enna agum excrete agum namakku think hydrogen ion is needed when hydrogen ion is more acidosis here hydrogen ion what happen the hydrogen ion vandu enna agum kammi or excrete agum bodu alkalosis agum so here effectively increasing hydrogen nama nama alkalosis vandu reverse pannona hydrogen ion increase pannum so acidosis சேம் அசிடோஸ் என்ன பண்ணும் கிட்னி எல்லா பயோகார்பனேட் ரீஅப்சார்வ் பண்ணும் கிட்னி என்ன பண்ணும் பயோகார்பனேட்டை ரீஅப்சார்வ் பண்ணும் பயோகார்பனேட் ரீஅப்சார்வ் பண்ணும் நம்ம ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா வில் கெட் மோர் மோர் வாட் லெப்பன் மோர் ஹைட்ரஜன் லெவல் வில் பி தேர் தட் டைம் தி பேஷன் வில் கெட் அசிடோசிஸ் தட் இஸ் ரீனல் மெக்கானிசம் தேர் கார்பன் டை ஆக்சைடு அண்ட் ஹைட்ரஜன் அயான் டுகெதர் வில் மெயின்டெய்ன் தி பேலன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ரெஸ்பிரேட்டரி மெக்கானிசம் here the hydrogen ion and renal mechanism renal maintain together here we have renal mechanism and just to think very simple explanation inga paru just hypoventilation when the patient having hypoventilation you know on the time la patient having pco level increase you are not taking proper breath breath edukka matinga appo da enna avo your carbon dioxide can't excrete carbon dioxide will accumulate avo appo carbon dioxide accumulate avo enna avo you will get low ph so this is called respiratory acidosis this is the thing i when your brain your central nervous system not working properly and your pco level increased so automatically your respiratory acidosis here what will happen kidney will compensate during the respiratory acidosis kidney will compensate how it will compensate increase pco level bicarbonate will be reabsorbed because to neutralizing already pco level more so ad equalize pannum enna agum பைகார்பனேட்டும் இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணும் ஸோ பைகார்பனேட் இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணும் போது பிஹெச் வில் பி நார்மலைஸ்ட் ஸோ இட் இஸ் தட் மெட்டபாலிக் கம்பன்சேஷன் ஜஸ்ட் திங் வென் பிசிஓடி சப்னார்மல் யுவர் பைகார்பனேட் கம் ஃபார் கம்பன்சேஷன் இயர் ஜஸ்ட் ஆப்போசிட் இஸ் ரீனல் மெக்கானிசம் 
So when the patient is having loss of bicarbonate, patient bicarbonate come here. So bicarbonate come here, retention of hydrogen ion. Retention of hydrogen ion, bicarbonate hydrogen retention, you will get low plasma level. Just to think, hydrogen ion, acid level, you will get acidosis. Here, patient will get metabolic acidosis. So, just bicarbonate loss, we will hydrogen ion, acid increase. So, that time, we will get loss of plasma pH, we will get metabolic acidosis. Compensation in a bono, hyperventilate bono. So, bicarbonate for compounding bicarbonate, we will get hyperventilation that will reduce the PCO level and it will maintain the high plasma level. So, that is the respiratory compensation. Just to think, Metabolic aranda, when the patient having metabolic problem, automatically respiratory will go for compensation. When the patient having respiratory problem, automatically kidney will go for compensation. Very simple explanation. Here, normal we have balance pH level be normal 7.35 to 7.45. And PCO2 normally we have 7.35 to 45. And PO2 we have 80 to 90. We have more than 80. And normally we have bicarbonate level. 22 to 26 or 22 to 28. Here venous blood. Normally venous blood we have 7.33 to 7.43. And PCO level 41 to 51. And PO2 we have 35 to 49. And saturation we have 70 to 75. Normally we have bicarbonate 24 to 28. Then we will go for C. Very simple. Normally our body need to maintain proper pH. Yes sir. Normal proper pH or at a third lower palo chimana, render side low ray weight in the equal balance will get. When we have weight measuring machine, what level? If both sides we have equal weight, we will get balance. If one side is going, another side will compensate. Here you see when the patients are having pH level low, pH level in now, come here, pH level come here, both PC dot level increase. How will compensate? Here we have, we have water plus bicarbonate bind together it will form the we have carbonic acid that carbonic acid will convert as a we have we'll get what will happen here we have hydrogen plus and we have normally bicarbonate this will compensate here same when we have alkalosis automatically what will happen pco level will decrease how we will get hydrogen and we have carbon means we have bicarbonate both will convert a carbonic acid and it will convert as a water and CO2. So this is a very simple mechanism. So normally what will happen? Metabolic acidosis. So very simple metabolic acidosis we have just when we have pH level is less than 3.5 and we have bicarbonate level is less than 25. Will what will happen? That is metabolic acidosis. So then so what may be condition? Nalla now Everyone think metabolic acidosis abdina. what will happen? Hydrogen ion, acid level adhigamarad. When patient having acid level, excessive oxidation of fatty acids and hypermetabolism, hypermetabolism of deficiency of O2 because of O2. And we have excessive ingestion of acids. Like so many things. We have lactic acid, methanol, and we have glycerol. So many acids and under elimination of hydrogen ion. When hydrogen ion adhigamarad, acid level increase. When acid level increase, then automatically will get acidosis under production of bicarbonate and over elimination of bicarbonate this all will make acidosis this all the causes then what may be symptom what are the symptoms here what will happen kidney inability to kidney excrete the acid acid on the kidney excrete and base consider as the base bicarbonate so here bicarbonate come here in a condition like patient labbing dka and severe diarrhea and renal failure, shock. Just to think, in the condition, le, me, hydrogen ion will increase. Hydrogen ion will increase. Your base bicarbonate will decrease. That's why we'll get patient will be having metabolic acidosis. So patient will be having hyperkalemia, decreased BP, headache, changes in the respiration, and we have small respiration for compensating. I, this are the symptoms will be there. These are the symptoms will be there in the metabolic acidosis. What may be management? Metabolic acidosis. Just to think metabolic acidosis, na? bicarbonate is less. Bicarbonate is less. And hydrogen ion, acid level is more high. So, hydrogen, I, 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 it means when we have uh, hydrogen level high, and what will happen? 
this all condition we have to treat so nam sodium bicarbonate kudukalam when you have to administer sodium bicarbonate and you have to do a dialysis and you have to make the potassium monitoring potassium monitoring we have to reverse the potassium by the, when the patient having hyperkalemia we have to go for insulin and glucose administration and salbutamol nebulization we can give the patient so read this condition what is may be treatment i am going fast i know because of the time i am going fast i can explain very slowly but there is no time uh, so just read this question and answer it what may be answer because they will for confusing they will give like this stories the patient will be having vomiting and decreased level of consciousness and small respiration and the patient will be lethargic and the patient will be having polyripsia polyuria weight loss and ph level be 7.0 and pu is po level is 90 pco level is 23 and uh, bicarb level is 12 what is the condition you put your answer in the chat box so thank you actually very simple you can see ph is less so here we have ph when ph is in between 7.35 to 7.45 and either if you have respiratory our bicarbonate should be compensated here the th not compensated when ph nearly normal value then only we will get compensation here automatically just if you are seeing itself whether it's compensated or uncompensated you can check by ph thank you your answer is good so normally what will happen your ph is acidosis and your pco level will be 23 here what will happen you will get rest maybe a metabolic acidosis so here what will happen metabolic acidosis it is a partially compensated for compensating bicarbonate here the patient will getting hyperventilation because of that the patient got decreased carbon dioxide level so here very good your answer is metabolic acidosis partially compensated so next we will go another simple condition metabolic alkalosis so just opposite metabolic alkalosis what will happen here the patient will be having increased ph level and bicarbonate will be increased so very simple what will happen our hydrogen ion level will be decreased hydrogen ion level will be decreased and your bicarbonate will be increased so here what are what are the causes ingestion of antacids and milk alkali and total parental nutrition and excessive retention of bicarbonate so these are the causes of metabolic alkalosis when the patient decreased acid component like prolonged vomiting ng suctioning and pyrolytic stenosis potassium deficit you know cushing syndrome thyroid diuretics this all will cause the metabolic alkalosis so normally symptom what will happen here the patient will be having restlessness tachycardia and hypoventilation the patient having hypoventilation tremors because there will be hyperkalemia metabolic acidosis cause hyperkalemia metabolic alkalosis cause hypokalemia because of hypokalemia what will happen the maybe the patient will be having tremor arrhythmia all will come so here the might be because severe vomiting and we have gi suctioning diuretics and sodium bicarbonate will be excessive will be administration so what may be treatment here mainly we have to go for connecting the condition when the patient have cushing syndrome you have to treat the cushing syndrome and you have to su sufficient chloride supplementation for compensation you have to administer the chloride and restoring the normal fluid volume by the sodium so this all the management so and we have to do correction potassium supplement because patient will be having hypokalemia so treating hypokalemia we have to replace the potassium and you have to when the patient having thyroid diuretics or ng suctioning you have to discontinue and when the patient having and uh, there is nausea vomiting you have to administer anti emetic either metoclopramide emic tandasteron we can give to the patient so what may be this condition just put your answer in the chat box just read patient be having 7.5 and the po level be 85 and pc what level be 40 and bicarb will be 34 what may be this condition so simply you can say ph will be abnormal 
so here there is no compensation so here will be a alkalosis yes or no here we have alkalosis here this also normal the patient will be having metabolic alkalosis uncompensated thank you it's good and next the answer will be metabolic alkalosis uncompensated already i told compensation will be taken both when the patient will have a metabolic problem our lungs will be compensated when the patient will have a kidney problem the respiratory will be compensated next we will go respiratory acidosis very important very simple when the patients are having respiratory when the patients are having ph level 11 less, less than 7.35 and when the patients are having pco level more than 7.4 means when the pco level more than 4.5 or 4.2 that indicate respiratory acidosis just opposite you think opposite here what will happen there is be inadequate excretion of co2 inadequate excretion of co2 just think hypoventilation whatever the central nervous system affected the patient will get hypoventilation that will retain your carbon dioxide level that will retain your carbon dioxide level automatically what will happen so your carbon dioxide will be increased and you will get respiratory acidosis then what may be causes here causes respiratory depression drug induced and spinal cord problem gulnir bair syndrome muscle weakness and even we have spinal cord injury this all will cause respiratory acidosis and we have thrombosis pulmonary edema pneumonia and even we have pulmonary edema atelectasis all respiratory condition and almost all respiratory condition and neurological problem will cause respiratory acidosis so here what will happen here you will get all respiratory when the patient having excessive carbon dioxide retained in your body automatically what will happen you will get confusion tremor hallucination increased heart rate increased bp increased icp intracranial pressure the patient will get hyperkalemia here when the patient always hyperkalemia cause acidosis cyanosis tachycardia warm and flushed so think that here so what may be your symptoms when the patient having hypoventilation you will get shallow oh, and shallow breathing yes or no so patient will be having hyper hyper reflexia respiratory depression will be there headache flushed skin cyanotic skin will be there then what may be management improve your ventilation improve your ventilation bronchodilators thrombolytic therapy and we are in antibiotic therapy airway clearance will be there in mechanical ventilation will be there you should be maintain proper hydration so what may be this condition just put your chat box when the patient having ph level 7.10 and pco level 70 So here, what will happen? This also uncompensated. Put your answer in the chat box. Here, just to see, you see acidosis. Here you see increased PCO level, respiratory acidosis, and here normal range. Very simply, you can see it's a normal range. Here we have respiratory acidosis uncompensated. Here we have respiratory acidosis uncompensated, and last we have respiratory alkalosis. what may be respiratory alkalosis just opposite to respiratory acidosis when your ph level will be more than 7.45 just to think your ph level will be less this means your ph level is more and your pco level will be less here what will happen patient will be having hyperventilation excessive carbon dioxide will be excreted excessive carbon dioxide excreted so very very important so here just to think remember when the patient will be having hyperventilation the patient will be having anxiety hyperventilation hypocapnia and the patient will be having respiratory control will affect the respiratory control so the acute hypoxia like anemia pulmonary embolus hypotension high altitude this all will cause the hyper when this all the respiratory alkalosis what may be clinical manifestation here will be dizziness right headedness tetany seizure because the hyperventilation will be there the patient will be having tachycardia dysarrhythmia will be there just you see the ph level automatically alkalosis means patient will be go for patient will be having hypokalemia ph will be more than 7.45 ph it will be less you can see this condition automatically what will happen when the patient having hypokalemia think the patient will be having all muscle cramping hyperlipoxia and the hypokalemia numbing and sensation will be there and this all the condition will get the patient will having respiratory alkalosis and respiratory alkalosis depends upon the condition you have to treat it 
So what may be this condition? Put your chat box. What is this condition? Patient will be having 7.61. 7.61 will be what will happen? Alkalosis. Here what will happen? PCO level will be 22. And we have bicarbonate 25. What is the condition? Put your answer in the chat box. Thank you. Your answer is good. Here the respiratory alkalosis is uncompensated. So, and just to think, just to think always the opposite to respiratory. Respiratory should be opposite. pH level is increased and PCO2 level is decreased means it's called alkalosis. And pH level is decreased and PCO2 level is increased. Always acidosis. And just a simple compensation. Don't be confused. Compensation means fully compensated pH will be normal range. Nearly normal range will be there. pH, pH level. And com for compensating for respiratory problem, kidney should compensate. And kidney problem and uh, when the kidney having problem, respiratory should be compensated. Just uh, here you see the, when the patient having both compensation means just uh, if you are pH level near me Roman range, just to see the condition whether it's a respiratory or metabolic. Just to think this wrong word, whether respiratory is opposite and metabolic equal. So we have some only few slides. You uh, the theory is over. Just to see you answer this question. What may be this condition? Analyze and put your answer in the chat box. Good. Respiratory acidosis uncompensated. And see this case 2. What is this answer? Very good. Respiratory alkalosis uncompensated. And what is this answer? Just put your answer in the chat box. Metabolic acidosis uncompensated. Here this, what is this answer? Metabolic alkalosis uncompensated. What is this one? Just think and put answer. Case 5. Case 5 answer. Very simple. Respiratory acidosis, respiratory acidosis, respiratory acidosis partially compensated, respiratory acidosis partially compensated, very good. And this one, last one, this one.
pH level 7.35, PCO2 level 70, bicarbonate level 32. What is the answer? This one. Respiratory acidosis fully compensated because you see compensated means fully compensated means there should be both just to think if pH level nearly normal and for kidney for lung the kidney is compensating fully compensated only the compensation occur PCO2 and bicarbonate so here there is no compensation that is partial compensation if both are compensating fully compensated very simple don't be confused if both pH and base is compensating, fully compensated. Here pH is not compensating, only the bicarbonate or PCO2, anyone is compensating, that is partially compensated. Check your answer. All six questions. How many you have got out of six, six? The class is over. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for you people for giving our uh, wonderful coordination and wonderful uh, support for us. And uh, because of time confusing, uh, it means time consuming, I, I, I went very fast. So tomorrow two classes will be there. Tomorrow two, two different subjects will, will be there. Another teachers will be there. Maximum, our how much possible I, we, will, we will give our effort. I will give our best to you people. So thank you so much for supporting us tomorrow. Just share your link to your classmates and seniors, juniors and teachers and your colleagues, everyone. Utilize this opportunity and just support us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everyone for attending this. Tomorrow, same time, 5 to 7. And uh, for giving this opportunity, all faculty members and participants, I thank you so much. And tomorrow same time and we have uh, we will share the links and just to share the link to maximum you people me your juniors seniors and all classmates thank you so much for your support we will see tomorrow demo class thank you so much tomorrow we have another two subjects we'll share tomorrow we have through yes sir yes sir yes sir subject to be confirmed yes sir okay. share that in group yes uh, sir sir uh, tomorrow we have uh, community and psychiatry we have uh, interesting two subjects is there very important topic uh, everyone tomorrow participate and even you can share to your classmates juniors everyone thank you thank you so much through uh, stop recording, sir. Uh, anything you need to share? Uh, nothing, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, if you take me most, I will uh, stop. Means I will stop the recording. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.